All right. Let's do this. All right, all right, all right. Looks like we are live on YouTube. What is going on, everybody? Pansy here in today's live stream and video. If you're watching this later down the line, we're going to be power leveling our hunting. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. I'm going to be talking about uh, the intricacies behind it while I start hunting. So first of all, you're going to be wondering, how do you get started with hunting? So it's pretty easy. All you have to do is get a match lock. Uh, some hunting gear and get started. So for hunting, the specialty about the gear is that you have DP on it. This is very useful when you're fighting things like Shadow Wolves, which actually do quite a bit of damage. So make sure you have hunting clothes and any type of accessories. Honestly, try Manos and Tet Manos clothes. This is like what I've been using since the beginning, and I make a lot of money with it. So you don't need to have like full Tet Manos accessories or anything of that sort. So Basically, once you want to get started, you want to go to your quest, go to suggested and do the hunting quest, which will be listed here. Um, let me see if I could find it for you guys. I finished it, so it's uh should be down here somewhere. Oh, that's social action. Let's see. Life advance. Ah, it's somewhere here. These are the ones that I don't think I finished, but you don't need to finish all of them. You just need to do the, let's see, you only need to do the artisan ones. All right, I already finished it, but anyway, <laughs> I'll uh, edit it into the video later. But basically you do those quests and you get started with that. And once you do that, once you complete all of the hunting quests, you can actually do the slide shot but in order to finish it all you need to be at least artisan or something so after you do the initial ones you get the hang of hunting you you got a few levels in you can just come over here to narcion and start killing the rhinos like i'm doing right now now you're going to be wanting to know what buffs you should use so the most important thing when hunting is obviously going to be having your attack speed and critical hit rate at maximum so mine fell off so to get it to maximum what i do is i use elixirs there we go so maintaining that is very important. Uh, the elixirs I use are Elixir of Wind and Mastery. Whenever I don't have the hunting buff, which I'll explain how you can get it, I use the blue variant, which is Elixir of Flowing Wind. And whenever I do have the hunting buff, I only need uh, that one attack speed. So I'll just use the Elixir of Wind. So that saves me a little bit of money. And in addition, I like to use Shock for the uh, critical hit rate. I'm using the party elixirs because they last longer and are cheaper per minute but they're harder to get your hands on because there's a lot of pre-orders on them and i also like to use flowing time once again same reasoning why i have the party elixir versus the regular ones but yeah that's all you pretty much need so i always like to run a seafood crown meal for the mastery and i run whatever life skill buffs i have and of course uh you can run your villa buff as well mine just ran out let's uh get that up Wrong one. There we go. All right. So in terms of how you want to start hunting, um, there's one thing you're going to want to keep in mind. Whenever you have the quest uh, that randomly appears and it, you just get randomly get it while you're hunting. Um, let me show you how it looks. Let's see. So, oh, this one you can pick up at Liana at any of the major towns. It gives you the same buff, so it's a good one to get started with. Um, but the other one is this one, uh, a hunting quest for panic horses. And you just have to kill uh, 10 of these Shadow Wolves and turn in. So both of the quests that I just showed you can get you that hunting buff. So, you know, it's up to you which one you do. Me, I just come out here and start hunting. I usually get it pretty quickly, but I've had times when freaking uh, it took like over an hour <laughs> to to get that quest but it's not necessary but you know whatever life skill xp you can get it's pretty dope so stacking up everything's kind of important just to make the most of your time all right 
Uh, one last thing I want to go over is which class you want to use. So classes do make a difference, like in other life skills as well, right? Like gathering, you have certain classes which are more preferred because they have higher mobility. For bartering, you have lawns who can fly to your ship, which makes life a lot easier. You know, things like that. So hunting, um, you want to go with the ones with the best passives. So for example, striker gets like, I think about 25% crit rate. That's huge for hunting. Um, Mystic gets like 22 and a little bit of attack speed, something like that, or 20 or 22. Um, so it, it's pretty good. That's why I stuck with my Mystic. But there's other classes which give you more attack speed and such. So it comes down to what you already use if you already started hunting and leveling it up. Or if you want to min-max and get the most out of it, you'd want to pick one of those two classes. Um, I think uh, Mooses are also decent. I think it's attack speed for them or something. Uh, Vaya, uh, sorry, pronouncing your name is a bit difficult right now. <laughs> uh, hi, if I do hunting with a sword, do I need to put five attack or five casting speed? Uh, it's attack speed. So hunting is going to follow under uh, just an act of using the musket. So it doesn't depend on which class you're using. So it'll always follow the attack speed. Uh, otherwise... <laughs> some of the classes would get screwed over because the there's a uh, lightstone effects which give you attack speed and stuff which is like oh no i think it's reload speed for the other option but yeah and uh you know i never tried it with a non physical class so you know if anything just experiment with it <laughs> but i'm pretty sure it's attack speed um because generally this game is dependent on the weapon you're using. But yeah, so in terms of classes, you don't have to reroll to the best class. But if it's going to be your main moneymaker and something you do for many hours, like you know, hundreds of hours to come to make hundreds of mil or billions of mil, like, yeah, you might want to min-max. So, and this guy is playing peekaboo with me on his stupid rock. Come down. But yeah, let me think. What else do I need to cover? This is pretty much like a precursor to a guide that I want to make. So uh, consider this like a rehearsal for me and for me to think about what I need to include and cover. I tried hunting those uh, shadow lions at master hunting, but they hurt too much. So I went to Valencia lions. Oh, true. You need to have like a good hunting clothes to have enough DP to tank them. And you'd also want... Uh, you'll have to burn a lot of potions. So if you have the infinite HP potion, that really helps. But yeah. So let's see what I'm at right now. And my bus fell off. We are at 35%. We get a lot of XP from rhinos. And right now we have the buffs going. The hot time buff. I might, I, I might even consider using my Laura's T. I, I need to think, did I do the Jatina? I think I did do the Jatina daily, so I don't have to switch characters. So I might actually go ahead and pop that just to get a little bit more XP out of this. My inventory is getting kind of packed. All right, where is it? Right here. So oh, did this thing lasts for three hours, which is uh, a bit annoying, but it's fine. All right. The BSR hit. Oh yeah. So whenever if you want to be the most efficient here, you'd want to use that BSR skill to go kill shadow shadow wolves. Um shadow wolves give good XP too. Me, I just don't like killing shadow wolves. I going all the way over there. But that is the best use of BSR if you're hunting here. How do you slide shot? So in order to slide shot, you need to finish the quest lines. Uh, go to O and suggest it, and it should be like art level artisan required to pick up those quests. And I need to repair one sec. So once you finish all the quest line, it took me about two to three hours because it was a lot of running around and sailing from island to island. But it's pretty easy to do. It's not difficult. It just took a little bit of time. So once you have it um, completed and enabled, what you do is you're sprinting forward and then you shoot. So it immediately slides to the ground and shoots two bullets really quick. So the best place to level up hunting is Narcion. So the node is right here. 
that's directly west of Odraxia. You come over here to Narcion and just go straight north. So this is like the best hunting leveling spot because there's a lot of rhinos here, no beetles to get in the way. And the respawn rate is like pretty good. So this is like the place to be if you want to level up. Now, there are new spots which came out with the winter expansion. And now the price is stabilized to a point where they actually make money. Only thing is like when you're killing yaks, they run all over the fucking place. Like rhinos, they keep charging towards you and then run through you a little bit. That keeps them in like one spot pretty much. But yaks, they just go crazy, man. But they do give you good money. Like the meat, the hide and everything, it's actually pretty worth. And the blood. But I haven't tested out like in terms of money making. I might go back after the hot time event is done. Because this event right now, it's stacked up to 50% life skill XP. Next week, it's going to be 70. And the week after, it's going to be 100%. So for the next three weeks, I just want to go hardcore into hunting. And I want to try to get G37. So the reason why I'm trying to do G37 is just because of my mastery. And I'm just looking at it in perspective of brackets. So every 50 mastery is a bracket. So we're trying to uh, just level up 50, bra 50 mastery at a time. Like That's like the goal. Of course, we want to get as much as we can. Because when you're not at a bracket, at least you have the option to take off your cons heart and put on like an attack speed um, alchemy stone or something. Uh, the reason why not a, a lot of people are doing hunting is because, like, listen, they really buffed up grinding. Grinding is so much money. Like, just going to freaking centaurs with aggers every day, it's, it's like some people are pulling well over seven, eight hundred mil. I heard um, things like one bill, but I haven't seen it, so I don't want to preach it. But they have really buffed grinding, so people are just doing the easy thing. But hunting, it's like you don't even need to know what you're doing, really. You just go and hunt wolves or deers and just sell the blood and meat. That's it. Like liquid silver, I make six to 700 mil. And now that the prices have gone up, it's over 700 mil an hour. And of course, there is the whole using energy thing. But it's not that big of a deal when you're doing like just leveling like rhinos. Like rhinos take very little energy per hour because you're killing them so slowly. Whereas deer, with 450 energy, it takes me like an hour, 45 minutes to burn all of it. And if I'm doing shadow wolves, it goes by quicker. So at that point, you want to start using energy potions. But like, I never had to. I have like a huge stockpile of energy potions, both the pearl energy potions as well as the regular ones. Like, I haven't had to use them while hunting because I don't hunt that, that many hours in a row. I'm on console and get about 800 mil at center. Oh my god, that is so broken, man. You better be grinding your ass off and buy yourself a pen black star before they raise the cap on it. Because <laughs> that is an insane amount of money for where the game is at on console right now. Because you guys don't have, you guys don't even have Vels out, right? So like, yeah, there's a lot coming out for you guys. The hunting's great. Like, it's chill. So, like, I enjoy grinding and all. It's just that, you know, after so many hours, like, my hands start hurting. I'm an old man now. <laughs> so I can't keep it up for, like, you know, six hours a day or something crazy. Like, maybe ten years ago, that would have been fine. Because I used to game, like, all day, every day, no problem. And I used to play with a pretty high APM. I was a button masher for sure. But it, it really takes its toll. So I, I've taken it easy now. Um... I'm even grinding on Awakened Striker. I pull out Succession whenever, whenever I need, like, the actual power, but... What the... When did I hit you, dude? Oh, my God. Stray bullet, huh? <laughs> so, this is a boss mob. So, when you're hunting in Narcion, uh, in the regions around here, they, there's a chance of a rare mob to spawn, which is a boss mob. So, whatever mob you're killing, there's a boss variant of it. They're just bigger with more HP. They're not really that dangerous or nothing. But maybe the maybe the Shadow Lions if you don't have gear. But basically, they go off of your drop rate. So if I was to pop a loot scroll, I would actually get more of those per hour. If I was to uh, hunt on Arsha, I would get more of those per hour. I don't bother using my loot scrolls for that. I feel it's not 
the reward isn't justified. Now, if you're someone who's like a pure life skiller who has like a thousand loot scrolls stacked up, I can understand it, but yeah. Hey, Raven. I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? We're just doing some hunting and just getting my thoughts in order because I do want to make like a proper video for it. So the goal is to just hunt for like three hours today and my buff is about to drop. That's fine. We just have to pop it again. So just popping up, uh, popping as many buffs as possible. Your life skill chads, man. I wish I had that much patience. I tried, man. But uh, you know what happened? Like, I just got bored. Like, I hated gathering. That was the main thing. Back then, hunting was really bad. Like, this is like back in 2020. Hunting was not the best thing to do. Uh, it was only with the recent buffs that it became really good. So I'm not a fan of gathering. My gathering is pretty low compared to my hunting. But it's been leveling up pretty decently while hunting as well. I power leveled my gathering the last time they had the um, life skill XP buffs. That was like a, about six months ago. Yeah. So like every six months they seem to be doing this kind of event. But I leveled it up to, to Guru. I went from like Master 21 to Guru. And it just took so much power leveling. Like it just takes a lot of XP. How much you make per hour? Not much here at Rhinos Omar. This is purely for XP. This is like the best XP spot. Like I'll show you guys uh, when I'm looting these Rhinos how much XP we're getting. But if I go for money making like a deer, I make a solid 700 mil an hour. And I'm not very high mastery. I only have try accessories and tet manos clothes. So let's press P. All right. Check the XP here. Like these are pretty big XP drops right here. Compared to like other life skills, this is like the fastest life skill you're going to level up. So like, look at that. That was like half a percent right there for that one rhino because we got some good drops. So it goes up pretty quick. So getting to Guru, like I've heard of someone getting it in a day. I mean, they went for like 10 hours plus, but, you know, it's definitely possible. So it comes down to just knowing what you're doing i know it can be a bit daunting picking up life skilling or hunting per se like you just have to get the gear start hunting rhinos you'll you'll pick it up just the quest lines are a bit annoying it took a few hours to do the one that unlocks light shot but once it was done it's it pretty dope oh my hunting buff drops so the quest buff so whenever you're hunting you have a chance to get the random quest which gives you a 30 minute buff when you turn in to finish that quest, it requires you to kill 10 of these Shadow Wolves. So I like to hold my BSR for them. So once I have 100% BSR, I'll come in, come in, just one tap, a big pack of them like that. See, one hit, nine of them died. Easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, butcher these. And then we'll go turn in the quest. We'll get the hunting XP buff and we'll come back. Everything about hunting is a low energy it uses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like you don't need you don't need loot scrolls either. So if you're low on loot scrolls, like this is really good to throw into your routine. So for my artifacts, I use uh hunting mastery artifacts with the canine tooth um set effect. Lightstone effect. So this is what I'm using. Alright, where's my horse? There is another one which gives you attack speed instead, or sorry, reload speed um, instead of crit rate. I think they even out. There's not one which I'd say is better than the other, but I have personal preference towards the crit because Mystic has a high base crit anyway. So I, I choose based on your personal preference. It's really not going to make a difference unless you hunt for like hundreds of hours. So it's in the long run. But if you need to choose one, I just go with K9 Tooth. If you just want a definite answer. To get the hunting mastery artifacts, you just have to be here hunting. They drop pretty decently. By the time you get Guru, you'll have two of them. <laughs> I'll say that. So since you can extract light stones easily, there's no pay to win mechanic behind it. Like, you know, all of the recent big changes that has been putting in it's been non-pay to win so i've been pretty pretty happy with that at least now 
they know their biggest market is NA and they're catering to it because it's more important that a lot of players are active in the game and they can make more money in the long run with like cosmetics and costumes and shit than putting in some dinky mechanic where we have to pay like seven bucks to extract a light stone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, plus 10 master matchlock is the best one. Yeah, I want them to add a guru matchlock, please. That'd be dope. Thanks. <laughs> I want to be two tapping these rhinos. You hear me? <laughs> it, it has to be like a double barrel or something. They have to do like something crazy. So you're still loading for like maybe you're loading like two bullets at a time or you shoot two bullets at a time. But they got to change up the mechanics so it's not boring. There's no use for, like, the sniper rifles either. If you guys don't know, there are actual sniper rifles where you scope in and stuff in this game. They should bring that back. <laughs> that would be sick. What is the best money? So what is the best money? Deers? Oh, best for money? Um, Yeah, Deers is really good right now. It depends on the market, right? Like, so if prices are fluctuating, you have to check which, um, which loot is selling the best. Like, Shadow Wolves used to be the best, and I think it's still one of the best. Uh, but it just depends how the price of the meat and the blood fluctuate. Hold on, I need to like make this chat bigger because I'm having difficult seeing. Text is too small. Ah, it's not letting me. YouTube, bye. <laughs> there we go. We'll do this for now. Ah, fresh. What's up, man? Uh, YouTube be auto moderating and stuff. It's like, dude, chill. Just, just block out the, just block out the spammers, man. That's all I need. On YouTube versus Twitch, like you will get so many of these bot spammers spamming like porn links and stuff. It's that's the only reason I don't stream on YouTube much. But I'm trying again to see if they've got a handle on that issue. No Twitch today? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm on YouTube. I'm trying out YouTube again. Because the thing about YouTube is, like, I can leave the VOD here and people will actually watch it and use it for, like, information and stuff. So, though I totally botched uh, the beginning of this VOD. <laughs> oh, shit. I totally forgot about music, too. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Trina match lock. Trina match lock for PvP. It doesn't do that much damage. I wish, like, it scaled off of your AP as well as hunting level. <laughs> and if you had, like, a sniper rifle and stuff, I think that would just push too far away from the game, but, like, what the game's about. But I, I still like that shit. At least give us, like, a hunt, like a sniper rifle if we hit the guy. It knocks them off their horse, you know? Because <laughs> I think the regular match locks do something like that, don't they? Uh, Rhino Meat. So right now I'm just holding on to them because I might go back into cooking. So I'm just building up a little bit of stockpile. For now, I'm just hanging on to it. But usually I do sell it whenever it hits like 18.5k. So like the thing about hunting is you have to... You can't just directly dump the dump the meat and the blood onto the market because those prices fluctuate by like 2,000, 3,000 very frequently. It's not something that's like event dependent like grind spots are where whenever Prolobus decides to give away boxes which drop distos or something like that or do a drop rate event like suddenly the prices of the accessories will fluctuate huge by huge margins whereas for hunting it's dependent on the life skillers like you know the 2k mastery cookers who are <laughs> cooks i didn't call i called them cookers wow uh the 2k mastery cooks who just buy all their mats off the marketplace and go straight into cooking so they're the ones who determine the supply and demand so it fluctuates very frequently like you don't see the price of meat stay at one point too long but there have been times when it was like pretty low for a long period of time. Like on average, it's pretty low. So at times like that, you generally want to just hang on to it because eventually someone will come out, come around and buy it out. But of course, that depends on which region you're at, too. What do you do when you get overweight? Uh, I, I just been 
So for example, I'll just open up the storage. I set this according to weight and it's usually the, the hide, the skin and stuff, which weighs a lot. So I just send it to through the maid and I send the blood to the, with, um, the cent to the central market warehouse and I'll just keep the meat on me. Cause I don't, I don't hunt for like three hours straight. And if I need to go back to town, it's pretty close. So that's, that's, that's enough for me. Yeah. Maids are pretty much what I, what I use, but if you want, if you need, if you don't have enough maids, then definitely you can just overstack like the hide with the horse and that'll keep you here for quite a while. Let's see what we're at now. Already at 54%. I just hit like G18 last night before I went to bed. Like hunting is like so quick to level. Like it's crazy, man. Like it's one of the biggest money makers in life skilling now. And the easiest thing to level up. Meanwhile, you have alchemy. It's such a pain to get to G1. <laughs> and then freaking you make a loss going for those light stone gambles omega lol what's up silver ghost just started video a month ago been watching your videos and it's helped hunting seems to be not very new player friendly should i just stick to cooking till i get better gear honestly hunting is decent but i would definitely recommend you have manos accessories before you start hunting the lower end would probably be, you know, duo accessories with tri clothes, but I honestly would just do like grinding and stuff. Now that the lower end grind spots make hundreds of millions per hour, like you're making big money. So honestly, I just save up for tri manos accessories and tet clothes before going all in. But even with like duo accessories and tri clothes, you, you do pretty well. You make uh, pretty decent money. Only downside with that with not having manos is the exp because like manos accessories give you xp bonus which is really good so i would not do hunting without that because it feels like you're wasting time there are other ways to make more money so i would at least have manos accessories what do you do when you oh sorry i already saw that I've been forced to dabble in alchemy because it's impossible to get spirit elixir perfumes. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I make my own. I recently made about six, seven hundred spirit perfume elixirs. And then I just finished farming my flame of frost at Jade Forest. So I have like 120 something um, of the higher variants. What are they called? I forgot the name of these. But yeah, I, I still have more of these. I can make more. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think I used... Oh, no, there they are. Racing Spirit Perfume Elixir. That's what they are. Yeah, I got a lot of those. I can make a lot more. So I think that'll last me several months. But making the Spirit Perfume Elixir is pretty easy. It's not too difficult. I guess the only thing would probably be the Fruits of Nature, right? How do you get that costume? What is the name of the Hunter costume? So the Hunter costume... Uh, you buy from a luxury NPC, like the luxury outfit NPC. They're in most major towns. Um, in Vale, uh, they're right next to the stable keeper and the trade manager around that area. And you use a tailoring coupon on it. Now, you can buy a tailoring coupon off the Pearl Shop, but they do give it out in events uh, every so often. I'm putting a pre-order up on the marketplace should do the trick too. So you just use a tailoring coupon on it and it converts that into an outfit. But yeah, that's basically it. So I had a few tailoring coupons saved up from previous uh, login rewards and stuff and I used that. So here are the stats for it. It's nothing special, 10% XP, one DP and some vision range and fall damage reduction, so. I can imagine that being like the BIS thing for Node Wars when you jump off a cliff and go yeet. <laughs> the hardest parts are the fruits of nature. Yeah, yeah. So I did a lot of power leveling at Bear. So I spent many hours power leveling my gathering from G... Sorry, from Master 1. Actually, I think I did everything from Artisan all the way to... G1 at bear. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I did a little bit of regular life skilling in between, but yeah, I spent most of my time uh, right here in Bear and just gathering the herbs there. And I have a lot of fruits saved up. I've used a lot of my fruit of nature, so the numbers are a bit lower here, but I have like thousands of fruits. So if I ever need to make something, I make it myself now. If I don't want to wait for pre-orders. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's it's pretty pretty nice being able to do that like i can make a shit ton of those spirit perfume elixir enough for me to never run out and i make my own uh frenzy drafts but lately there haven't been any frenzy elixirs on the marketplace so i'm gonna have to start making those yeah yeah they really increase the drop rate of fruits in bear so like I did up to M21 at bear, right? So that was before the buff. So I would have had a lot more if I actually did the power leveling now. And I know farming also gets you fruits. I don't know which one gives you the fruits of nature, though. I remember I used to get, like, uh, fruits of magic and stuff. Oh, shooting the ground. It'd be like that, man. It'd be like that. Bear is definitely soul crushing. It was so boring. So I'd force myself by popping an anniversary buff cake. So that's the quest we just got. So it's the 10 shadow shadow wolves and I go turn it in and I get this hunting buff. So we still have 17 minutes on ours, so we don't need it yet. But yeah, it is so soul crushing. So I had to like pop like everything and just force myself to do it. 24 hours there, it was nuts man so painful and it took so long to get to g g1 man <laughs> not even kidding hunting at least like gives you xp like i hit uh early like last week i hit g3 and i haven't been hunting too much but the xp is going up like i think i can expect like five percent an hour at rhinos or something for gathering so by the time uh, this life skill EXP event ends in two and a half weeks, I might even be like G5 gathering. We'll see. Since I have Jatina boss and I'm planning to get the dim tree to pen. Sorry, I'm missing my shots because I'm reading chat. Should I buy another Begs and Urgons and try to get those to pen myself? Or get them to reform level 4? So, the cost of a guaranteed pen goes up with each one. Just check on the marketplace and see how much they cost versus how much it'll cost you to force it to pen with Jatina. It should be fine. I think you can make the first two or three, depending on the prices in the marketplace. I think uh, memory fragments are dropping, so now, t now would be a good time. But, depending on that, you could do like two to three guaranteed pens so just do the math honestly just add him up and see what's going on what's up Alfie power level my training on all my farmers for auto sprint I mean professional training isn't difficult Actually, with the life skill XP buff, like you could do it like in a couple hours, maybe. You just have to spam uh capture horses. My favorite spot, like Jigen is definitely the best spot, like with near Duvencroon, south of Duvencroon, because you get tier fives, but it can get pretty contested there. So Portiferia, that's a good spot. Like right next to Portiferia. Where is it? Yeah. Right south of port south southeast of Portiferia. That's where I power leveled my training. Two boss gear would cost almost 10 bill if I buy most of the stuff. Yeah, that, that's worth it. That's worth it. And after that, I think it might start getting a bit more expensive than just outright buying it, wouldn't it? And it depends on which piece as well. Like, Oregons would be, Oregons or Griffins would be more expensive than like a Muskins, you know? So I would do the most expensive pieces to the guaranteed and buy the cheaper ones. 
Oh, look at these Cafras. It's raining Cafras. How many do I have? 43. Let's go. I need another six, 700 Cafras because I have the 100 Embers for my Flame of Frost. And I'm working on the guaranteed Pen Griffin. I miscalculated my... <laughs> I miscalculated the number of, uh, what do you call it, crystals I have, griffin crystals, so I need one more week of turn-in. So next week, we'll have a, a Labresca helmet, and I will likely tap it to duo. I'm going to try. We don't know how that's going to work. My Fallen God wasn't too bad. It took like seven taps, so we don't know how long it's going to take. But yesterday, I actually tapped um, a Tet Alchemist, Mano's Alchemy Clothes. <laughs> Alchemist Clothes. Like, this one took way more taps. More taps than my Hunting Clothes and my Cook's Clothes combined. But it went through. So, I can just sell it. But I'm going to try to get my Alchemy up to G1. Money-wise, I don't think it's going to be worth it. But, you know, it's one of those things. Might as well just do it. It's just... For the sake of completion so i'll i'll try to do it so i have that and i also have the plus four alchemist um silver clothes which i'm probably just gonna sell wanted to like training but smashing the space bar just isn't fun yeah you might want to like just if you have a gaming mouse like setting up a macro on your thumb button or something might be the way to go there it's it's toxic Who do you think is better endgame PvE? Awaken Hash or Sage? Probably Sage. But I, I can't I'm not speaking from experience. I haven't played either of those classes in a long time. Yeah, Alchemy uh so the thing with Al Alchemy, right, is the clothes give the Mano's clothes give you minus alchemy time. So you'd be deciding between 25% XP versus 300 mastery. And 300 is a big number. So honestly, I would go with the Manos. And I asked uh, Agent Russ that yesterday as well. He said Manos as well. So I'll take his words. What lightstone effect are you using for hunting? I use Canine Tooth. So it's this one. It's Trap. Uh... The iridescent lightstone track and claws. So I think tr which one was it? Track was the expensive one, but they should be readily on the market in NA. So K92 is the one I use for the crit rate. There is the other one which does reload speed, but you can do either one. I think they balance out in the long term. I just prefer to K92 since I already have a high crit rate. I just wanted to add on to it. How much money per hour here? Not much at Rhinos, bro. <laughs> Rhinos don't give you too much. It's like maybe 300 mil an hour. If I get lucky, if it drops 400 mil an hour. Uh, but you're here for XP. It's the best XP in the game for hunting. Like from level one all the way to G50. This is what you do for leveling hunting. If I go to deer, I'm making 700 mil an hour. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know either until I accidentally stumbled upon it. I'm like, wait, that gives you minus alchemy time? Then what the hell am I using the uh, embroidered clothes for? And then meanwhile, the cook's clothes give you like some nonsense buff, like movement speed. <laughs> like actually, is it movement speed? Yeah, it's three movement speed and 300 cooking master. You want to get real, you want to just run to that storage keeper, right? <laughs> Nah, I have a storage container right behind me. I don't even need to take a step, so. Silly. Where would you grind with 250 AP Kudum to get max money per hour? Centaurs. Centaurs is the best money maker in the game for lower AP. And you'll even see 700 gear score players over there because it's such an easy, easy grind and free money. And I've been told Awakened Valk is utterly cracked for centaurs. I haven't tried it myself, but I most definitely will. I might have to play next season because uh, I've been converting my boss gears and stuff, like my Tuvala gear, so I need another set of Tuvala. And I was fail stacking on one of like a few of the pieces, like the bags and the muskins. Pertuga? Nice. 
It sucks that L cars aren't worth what they used to be. If you guys look back in my in my YouTube channel, you'll see a Kratuga guide. Uh, where I put up a guide for like Kratuga and it's like got over a hundred K views and stuff. Back then I used to grind Kratuga religiously. I loved it. I was 235 AP Mystic and I used to go grinding Kratuga. People are like, you're not supposed to be here. I'm like, it's working. Look at the money I'm making. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay, you know, you do you. But Alcar has like dropped significantly with the recent Gyphons, is it? I think it was Gyphons. I'm a returning player. I don't want to play Awakened Warrior anymore. I want to pick a solid class and my choice is Hash or Sage. Awakened Warrior is probably better than Hash or Sage, unfortunately. So after the reworks, which happened last December, um, Sage and Hash, they fell behind because they didn't get the reworks. Like, you, Suck Warrior is pretty busted. Awakened Warrior is pretty fucking strong. But if I had to choose between Hash or Sage, I would pick Sage personally. I feel like Awakened Sage would be a bit more versatile. AP journals? Ah, it depends on your luck, I guess, because there's a lot of RNG involved, like with getting like the... Well, actually, they're going to make it easier. They're going to make it easier. So in an upcoming patch, they're going to actually make some of the difficult steps in journals a bit easier. Like... The ogre items. We don't, I don't think we'll have to get the soiled ogre ring anymore. Me, I got it on my first kill. It was on stream. I was running to the ogre area. Well, I ran into one on my horse. I'm like, I'm going to kill this guy without even dismounting. So I killed it from my horse and it dropped on the first hit without a loot scroll or anything. And I was ready to stay there for the whole stream to get it. <laughs> but yeah, in an upcoming uh, patch, they're going to make it so you don't need that. You won't need... Um, the HP journal will be easier. You won't need tri coral earrings anymore or duo Schultz belt. Instead, it'll be tri cactum rings, which there are like 170,000 of them on the marketplace. And um, duo Schultz belt, which are cheaper than the necklace. But it, it probably it took me like a solid two streams to do my Bartali log. Oh, it's raining Kafra's boys. Hey, Darren, what's up, man? Thanks, dude. Welcome to the stream. I picked uh, Suck Nova as a new player. Feels really solid and the combos are not killing my fingers. Yeah, she's pretty chill. She's not the fastest uh, clearer in PvE, but she's very chill. And in terms of PvP, she's pretty damn strong. She's a proper tank. She does well. When you pick a class, you got to decide what you want out of the game. So like, do you want to be a node war player? So node wars aren't like just pure free gear. You, they cap it depending on which level of node it is. It's like a tier one node war, like the gear score to get to tier one nodes is pretty easy. Like out of season, you're I think you're almost there. Or if not, you are already there. So you got to decide what you want to do in the game. Do you want to just grind as fast as you can to get to end game? Spend a year just hardcore gearing up? <laughs> do you want to be a siege player? Do you want to be a node war player? Do you want to be really good at 1v1 duels? Or do you want to do it all? Like there are some classes which can do it all. And then you have to look at the play style. It has to suit you. Like you have to be, you know, it's not just picking the right, the biggest and the baddest class out there. You have to have fun playing the class. It has to be something you enjoy. Something that's aesthetically pleasing to uh, look at the gameplay, all that stuff. Hey, what's up, Matt? How's it going? Oh, did I get all of them? Sweet. Where should I grind with no loot scrolls? I don't think you should grind at all with no loot scrolls. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Grinding without loot scrolls. That's a tough one. Unfortunately, this game's very loot scroll dependent. Chad, does anyone have an option? Oh, well, I mean, I guess you can grind on Arsha. Like, a place which has good drops. Like, for example, at uh, you said you were 267, right? Star's End on Arsha is really toxic. People just run around to kill people over there, so that might not be the best. But, like, Kratuga on Arsha, that's actually pretty good. Like, when you have, uh, when, when you don't have loot scrolls, you want to go for that RNG drops, I guess. 
because the trash is going to be really low. I'm a 236 AP Nova. How do you get involved in things like Node Wars? First, uh, just Google for the stats, the stat caps on Node Wars. And likely you want to get yourself into a tier one Node War. And just search for a guild which is doing tier one nodes. Like just go to server chat and start advertising that you're looking to get into tier one nodes. This is my class. This is what I want to do. And, you know, maybe there'll be a no, uh, node war guild which will pick you up. There should be like they should be pretty helpful at tier ones. The, once you get to like the stat cap, you can start going with them. It's pretty easy. Like node wars are like the main content in this game, like the pinnacle of the content. Node, node war and sieges. Me, I never participated in any of them because the time re requirements, like during the time when nodes go live, I'm usually busy. <laughs> but if you're a player, I, I, I've done Node Wars back in the past. My first time playing BDO in the first year of BDO, I did a lot of Node Wars. So I've had that experience. I've had that fun. So I know exactly what's, what it's about. So if you've never done a Node War or a Siege, I 100% recommend you go join a Node War guild or merc for one of them for like i don't know if nodes can get mercs is it just sieges if when i was playing it we didn't have mercs mercenaries but you know i recommend you guys get into it because that's like the really hype content in video you make a lot of fun memories doing those which uh journals are essential for apdp um Iger bartali Eve's log, the Zarka one. Is there anything else, guys? Oh, Dora Morgram. Yeah. Thanks, Haru. Looked it up in Adventure Notes, Akraya. Upper loot scrolls don't work. You don't need them? Oh, nice. Fugar? I thought Fugar was. Is Fugar AP or DP? I need to actually finish the last one of Fugar. The last one of Fugar is DP. Yeah. I just did uh the I just got the DP from Ruben's journal. <laughs> I didn't even, it's Heralds. Heralds is also one DP. So I didn't even know about it. It just randomly came up. I'm like, I made a gain. Because <laughs> like my gear score hasn't changed in nine months. Any tips on getting Kafras? Got to C10 my dim tree. I'm only at C3. Are you on console or are you on PC? Honestly, now they really buffed up the amount of Kafras you get from grinding. Like before, you'd be lucky to get 10 to 20 Kafras an hour. Now, like grinding Jade Forest, like every day I used to do my daily at Jade Forest. The daily gave you um, 20 Kafras in total. And just grinding there would get me like at least another 30, 40 of raw Kafras and then like 100 dust. It was crazy. I would recommend if you can do the dailies every day in, in the winter region. Because I'm thinking how many of those are there. I've done the Murwoks and I've done the Jade Forest. Those go by pretty quick. You can do it within an hour. So that's pretty sizable amount of Kafras. Grind Center. Yeah, obviously buying them is the fastest way to do it. It's just that some regions have really high pre-orders right now. We need more Kafra events. Let's, let, let's check uh, NA. Yeah, we don't have too many. It's not too bad. I need to actually buy some Kafra soon, but I figured by the time, like in the next two weeks with my hunting, I'm just going to get all the Kafras I need for my Labrusca. So I probably won't put up pre-orders because I need to spend the money to get like memory fragments and other material. And I need to actually start saving up all my hards and sharps. Oh no, I totally forgot about that. Well, hards anyway. I've been burning them, man. I've been blowing them up on my Manos Alchemy clothes. I think I must have spent like 150 concentrated, 150, and like I had to repair it. It took so many memory fragments and stuff. It's like, oh, buddy. But I think I profited. I think I, or at least broke even at the worst case scenario. 
you stream on YouTube now or is it just uh whichever site you feel like at the moment I'm testing out YouTube again so like the issue I had with YouTube res is that there were a lot of bots like a bots like come in and start spamming inappropriate links and stuff and that's just the thing in YouTube so I'm seeing if <laughs> if YouTube's done something about it so hopefully um I can start streaming here I wish I never became a twitch partner and I or an affiliate because I used to restream and that was pretty fun but the ads on twitch have gotten really annoying like yeah they give you like in a in a in a month I make like maybe like 10 20 dollars off it but it's such a hassle for the people viewing the content like every fucking hour there's like an ad that just plays and if I forget to like delay it it might play in the middle of like a pog moment and the pre-roll ads it's all annoying so at least on YouTube I have like complete control of that let me actually make sure there's no pre-roll ads I usually turn it off by default <laughs> Asmund gold streamer of the year <laughs> go get it buddy all right live yeah see we have the ads off on the stream I'll turn on like a pre-roll ad or something after we're done with the stream and the VOD is just there because YouTube people will watch the VODs whereas on Twitch barely anyone watches the VODs <laughs> and that's fine like you know I think that's like a healthy relationship between ads and content like no ads during the live stream but then afterward just put a pre-roll ad I mean, like, as an entertainer, like, this is, th this has to be a good experience for the viewer, above everything. I, I, I get it, I get it, Twitch needs to make money, but I feel like it really takes away from it. Because I, even me, someone who knows how the system works, jumps around to channels to see which one has pre-roll ads off. Because <laughs> sometimes I just don't want to deal with it, and sometimes the ads are just so dumb. What's up, Dean? How's it going, dude? Yeah, the pre-rolls are just so annoying. But they're coming up with a new system. There's going to be a new feature where you can browse channels and stuff. So you can browse it without the pre-roll. And then when you want to actually join the stream and the chat, that's when uh, the pre-roll comes in. So it might be a bit better. We'll see. I know, kitten. Some of the ads are just, just so annoying. It's toxic, honestly. <laughs> So yeah, that YouTube gives me a lot more option than that. How is the stream, by the way? Do you guys see it as pixelated or laggy or anything like that? Because um, YouTube actually lifted the bitrate limit. Like Twitch is still at like 6K or 8K. So YouTube actually lifted the limit. Now it just uncapped it and it's like, you can put up to 51K. I'm like, oh, okay, buddy, that's a bit too much, but... <laughs> We'll see. A little bit of blur. All right. We might. We'll. We'll raise the bit rate again next time. It's going to be a trial and error. Let me actually go view my own stream here. It's going to be a trial and error. Oh, resound. Sorry. Uh, okay. It's auto at 720.60. Let me change it to 1080. All right. I'll just watch it on the side here. Yeah. It is a little bit of pixelated. Next time I'll increase it to like. 10k or something it might even be because i'm playing remastered and it's just more graphically intensive i don't know if that make, makes a difference for my obs we'll see so okay yashi what's up dude could be better no lag though okay then i i will definitely increase the bit rate next time I'm here for the knowledge, not the picture. <laughs> I hear you, dude. Next time, I'll raise it to like 16k and see what happens. Just YOLO. All right. All our buffs are dropping off and I've not been paying attention. What are we at? Oh, no. My hunting buff dropped off. Yikes. I should have held on to my BSR. That's fine. We'll just go shoot these the old-fashioned way. 
Let's see if I if I stand still and tank these, how quickly will my BSR fill up? Uh, it's 0.1 for every hit. It'll still take some time. Oh, the back attacks are really stacking up. I don't think I can tank these very long. All right, we'll just start shooting. Is hunting better than gathering? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But, like, gathering still has a place because there's some things you can't just hunt for. Like lion meat, snake meat, scorpion meat. But, like, I think in an hour I got, like, freaking 10k meat of, like, snake and scorpion combined. Whereas hunting I make, like, 20k red meat. <laughs> Nuts. I wish they added more defenses that stack up. The more enemies there are. In RBF, so it'd be more fun. Yeah, I always get one shot. But pretty soon, in about a week's time, my gear is going to power spike. So, like, I'm going to hit my next spike. I'm going to go from 290, 358 to 293, 371. And I might switch back to evasion build. And hopefully, we can actually start PvPing open world. <laughs> Your switch uh, to life skilling video, so went out and got some Tet Logia gear. Oh, nice, dude. I hope uh, I didn't make you break the bank there because I've had some people who switched to life skilling. They're like, oh, this is boring. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry, dude. I should have conveyed the boredom a bit better. I'm not a fan of gathering. Gathering is not that fun for me, but hunting I do like. It's pretty chill, it's not intensive on the hands, and. Makes good money. Some rewards to Solaire. Yeah. I preached it, preached it for like months. I'm like, we need to have some sort of mechanic that allows us to progress our gear while playing Arena of Solaire. That is, make money. Or get like Kafra's as rewards and stuff. So, I hope they add it in. Because like, pretty soon people will start getting bored of Solaire and be like, yo, it's not worth the loss of not making a bill an hour <laughs> progressing so i'm gonna stop doing solar so we'll have to see i might actually like once i get to that 371 dp i'm actually gonna switch back to succession and start grinding at like the big boy spots see if i can push that one bill an hour thing if i can make like two bull a day I i'd be happy but we'll see i mean i can definitely do it now it just takes longer i want it to be quicker so i can spend more time doing fun stuff and just leave that as my quota. All right. Let me see what my XP is at. 89%. We're definitely going to level up pretty soon. So we might be able to hit G19 today. I'm going to aim for G19. Or sorry, G20. G20. We're almost G19. I forgot I leveled up last night. Hunting is the fastest thing to level up, honestly. So the goal for me, by the time the event is over, this hot time event in two and a half weeks, is to get G37. I think that was the number I needed in order to be like, I think 1550 base mastery for hunting. And then I'll use my buffs to get another 200, two to 300 mastery. But I should be able to hit it. I'm just thinking if I was to hit it sooner should i keep hunting or should i switch to power leveling my cooking or my alchemy so i've been like stockpiling alchemy mats and stuff i might do that but it's like it's not big money it's not worth doing the g1 thing but at the same time it's more of like a completion thing just to have it done just to have it done and flex on people <laughs> we'll see A good leveling. It's a nice break from something different. That's good. That's good, Darren. Video progression takes too long. I wish uh, I knew other... No other games. I'm constantly comparing video to other MMOs. But I can't stand life skilling, grinding for hours when other games are more active. I know. This is just definitely a game of... You know, a type of its own game. Like... I wish it was more... In, you know, interesting, like... A theme park style game but this is what this game is i mean you have to accept it for what it is 
now, like compared to what it was like two years ago, you can progress a lot faster. Though I still don't like it that we, it takes so many hours to get to like the point where you can buy a pen black star or something, but it's gotten better. So I'm almost at that, you know, that the new soft cap, so to say. Once upon a time, soft cap was try accessories, tech clothes, right? The new soft cap is, I think, what I'm about to hit now. <laughs> So after this, my next big upgrade is going to be like a pen necklace, and those are going up in price. Oh, shoot. Pulled multiple again. So I don't know what I'm going to do about gear progression. We'll see. Hey, double whammy right there. Oh, shit. White Shadow, what's up, dude? I know your Twitch name is Southern Hot, but you know. <laughs> I know you as White Shadow. How's it going, man? What you been up to nowadays? You still play Lost Ark or what? Why did the life skill XP buffs never affect trading? I don't know. I've never done trading, man. My trading level went up by gathering. I got professional 10 by just doing gathering. Lost Ark and League of Legends? Nice. I need to hop back into Lost Ark and just like go full pay to win. Are they banning uh, RM tiers yet? And bots? Oh, Ark. <laughs> Not Lost Ark. Okay, okay. The whole pay to win, uh, pay to get to end game shit pissed me off. I hear ya. I still want to play just for, just to try out the Glaive class. I enjoyed doing the arenas in Lost Ark. That was fun, but it, it was a shit show. Let's be real. <laughs> Their bot situation is obnoxious. I've never seen a game with so many bots. Let me tell you guys the story of Wildstar. So when Wildstar came out, I purchased, I pre-purchased the game a week before it came out. And when it released, I was on vacation and I was nowhere near a computer. So when I was out on vacation, I got an email saying I've been banned on Wildstar. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Apparently the Wildstar's launch was obnoxiously bad. There were data leaks where people lost their accounts and people were botting like ferociously on those hacked accounts. And they would, it's not even just like a bot moving around in game. They're literally teleporting from node to node. Like that game was so cracked open. Like it was so broken. And when I logged into my account, I explained to, uh, to uh, customer support, they're like, oh yeah, this seems, this came from a different region and blah, blah, blah. And once I got my account back, it's like maxed all of the gathering profession. I'm like, yeah, this was definitely hacked on. It was just nuts. It, it was so bad. <laughs> the, the raids were fun. Raiding in Wildstar was fun. Wildstar was the only game I ever did a realm first. I was a realm first level 50 warrior. I got the galactic hotshot achievement. And the rating was fun, but the problem was after rating. After you get that end game piece, in order to like socket it and shit, what you have to do is just spam dungeons, get currency for this RNG box, open the RNG box, and hope you get your gems. I'm like, that's where it got boring. And the player base is just dwindling, but the player owned housing in Wildstar was the best out of any game I've ever seen. Yeah, man. Wildstar was... It was so silly. What class are you using? I'm using Succession Mystic. Specifically su Succession because Awakened Mystic doesn't have the same passives which make Succession really good for um, hunting. You can, you can do like pretty much any class. It, it's just the passive buffs you gotta take a look at. So for Mystic, you have Mountainara which gave you the crit rate and then Primal... Um, or uh, it gives you just AP. I don't think it affects hunting, but it's Prime Mountain Flow. This is like 2% attack speed and 2% movement speed. This is the succession part of it. So Mountain R you can get an Awaken, but this is like the added bonus. You can go without it, but it's like 2% attack speed, which affects your reload speed. You know? Oh! GM buff is up again in... Uh... Battle Arena 7. Let me go there on both of my characters, actually. I want to get on my Striker 2 for when I grind. 
So I do my Jatina daily on my striker every day at Biragi because I'm collecting the shards for my pen crescent ring once I get it next week. Just add a bot mode to the game. <laughs> no more illegal bots. Oh, man. Please, no. <laughs> Your health must be full. Scam. All right. Battle Arena 7 on NA. There's a GM there. Go and talk to them. They'll give you a buff. All right. Where is it? Where are they? I don't see them. Are they here yet? Is the GM here yet? Ah, uh, here he is, Rinku. Thank you. All right, let's switch to striker. What do you mean, wait? No, you spam the hell out of it till he gives it to you. Yeah. I was messing around on video again. Oh, Shadow, they added um, Arena of Solaire. So it's a normalized 3v3 arena. Same type of random uh, teammate queue system of Lost Ark. But it's normalized gear. Only thing that affect you is the number of skill points and other stats for your class like I think stamina those kind of things which is pretty easy to level up so something that you're looking to do you should check it out all right let me go to striker and get that buff as well all right I'm gonna hop on all my characters and get that buff <laughs> level the new class Draconia is absolutely cracked for pvp especially arena of solaire Get all... Oh, it's a drop rate buff and things like that. I'll show you. Go to Battle Arena 7. Draconia is cracked for Arena of Solaire. You'll have fun. You'll have fun. Just level up your, you know, basic things like stamina and all that things and skill points and get all your major skills. And you'll get it. So come to Battle Arena. If you're in the new menu, you can switch by clicking this button on the top right. Switch to old menu. Battle Arena. Battle Arena 7. Hunting level is G18, almost G19. I think I'm going to hit G20 by the end of the stream today. Should be good. Alrighty, just getting the buff on my striker and then we'll go back to the Mystic. Back to hunting. Drop rate actually affects while, uh, while hunting. It spawns more of the rare boss mobs. All right, we need the buff. Yep, here's the buff. So one energy recovery, 30 drop rate, 30 combat life. And oh, it's life XP too. I didn't know that. Nice. Knowledge gain, five movement speed, five luck. Oh, perfect. Let's go. Let's go. In NA, Battle Arena 7. Maybe there's a GM on YouTube. Maybe Endlave's out there buffing people. Who knows? Yeah. Let's get that XP. All right. We are going to switch back to the Mystic now and get back to the hunting. Close to the next level up, which is dope. That means I can stop using my mastery potions for a while. <laughs> So if you guys don't know, I spam my 10 mastery potion. Uh, I don't know if it's on the console. This is literally a GM standing there buffing people. So I don't know if there's any console GMs out there. In EU, I don't know where they're at. Check if 
Pearl Abyss is streaming right now. I know Endlave was streaming earlier. Was it yesterday? Or did he have another stream today? I forgot. Hunting level. I told ya. G18. Almost G19. We're gonna do it. So. G19. That means we will have we can finally stop using our mastery potions for a while. I totally just messed up my UI. Oh, we're good. Dude, getting guru hunting is so easy. You can do it in a day. If you start at morning by night, you can get to G1 with like life skill buffs and stuff. Hunting is the fastest life skill to level up, 100%. Hey, Rocco, stream's good, man. How are you? I need to increase the bitrate for the next stream. I should go on one of my alt YouTube channels and just uh, try it out. <laughs> you got a Ted Blackstar. Should I try for a god eyed weapon? Um, so you can. So if you're succession and you have a, a succession or a main hand Blackstar weapon, and if Succession is your main spec, yeah. Since you're Draconia, right? If you're playing Draconia, yeah, it would be worth going God Eye. I think I set it to like 8,000 or something. I set it to 8,000 right now because I just realized they uncapped it and they're like, you can go up to 51k. I'm like, oh, that's a bit much. <laughs> so I set it at 8k. We'll try to keep increasing it each stream. Maybe I'll try out 16k and see what happens. Yeah, it's. It, I hope it didn't say fifty one five one zero zero. If that if that's the case, then we're fucked. Cause this stream quality isn't worth it. Eight <laughs> K should be fine, but what? It does look a bit pixelated. Yeah, it does look pixelated. I know. It's a YouTube thing, thing, man. Cause like I used to um, stream on both. YouTube and Twitch, right? Would restream, so I was multi streaming. So, like, Twitch would look better. Like, actually, no, Twitch looked worse, but after I got. I think it was after I got affiliate, it started looking better. I don't know. Obviously, the GPU. Always GPU compression. Like, just look at. So, the settings haven't changed at all from my Twitch stream yesterday. If you look at that, that looks like pretty crisp compared to what it's at right now. Oh. Totally forgot these buffs. Let's do that. All right. On to hit. Oh, I was 0.99. Lol. Here we go. G19. All right. Let's see how much XP we get from these three rhinos. 5 to 1.34. That was like 0 0.49. 0 0.37. Okay. We're still getting a lot of XP. We should be able to hit the next level this stream. Why am I even rolling to the side? Just just stand still. Just sit still. Let the rhino run past you. Kind of bummed I didn't get to see any rhinos in this Africa trip, but next time I go to South Africa, I'm definitely going to try to see some rhinos. I didn't get to go to South Africa this time. Want to go see Kruger National Park? I hear they have like the biggest, baddest elephants out there. What's that? Get some power level for my shy. She's been 36 for way too long. Oh man. 1900 kbps? Is that the limit? Is that what it says the limit is or what I have currently or what? What is my bit right? You know what? I have it right here. Shit, I can see. On your video for, for stats <laughs> for nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why it's pixelated then. Do you think it's like settings on my OBS? Like I need to set it to like a higher setting or something. I don't know. 
Yeah, we'll figure it out off stream. Figure it out later. Like session one, looking to tag somebody really good for PvP. Anyone to practice uh 275, 351? Why don't you just play Awaken? For PvP. I guess it's because you want to fight someone uh, who are, who comes to DFS. In that case, I don't know. Are you interested in Ninja? Suck Ninja is like one of the best duelists. Um, Suck Valk is okay. I mean, Ninja is probably the best. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking of the different ones. No to Striker. Mystic is decent, but others are better. Thoric is better awakening dueling, I guess. Ninja is the best in terms of what you're looking for right there. What GPU? 3090? Reached the uh, Solera 1900 on Wizard today. Nice. Is Wizard more viable on your server? I think it's more of a skill thing. Like, I think it's more of the skill thing. After you get to the top 100, uh, or at least the top 50 or so, it's more of who's just popping off. Devios is reigning at the moment. Arvin has both his accounts at 3 and 4. There's a witch, wizard, witch, wizard, wizard. Like, if you're on a team and you have a witch or a wizard, you got to take their playstyle into account. If you're just going and full on turbo inting while you have a witch and wizard on your team, then you're gimping the team. If the witch or the wizard, if the caster says, hey, I can kite this guy, go apply pressure, then you can leave them. But otherwise, you got to be there ready to peel, ready to play off their plays, ready for the PA and stuff like and make use of it. If you don't see the PA popped and you're just running around in circles, then it's like, well, kind of wasting it, right? So it depends on the players around you and just skill in general. Ninja is better, I think. Suck ninja. Do you think they would buff classes like Sage or Hash? They might. I can see them doing it. Can't stand those who rush into the enemy and I gotta walk because <laughs> I don't want to teleport right off the bat. Yeah, exactly. Um, Sage is a really good class. It's just that we had the class reworks last December. So they buffed and, you know, did a lot of fixes and changes to the original, I think the first 17 classes or something. I forgot the exact number, but all those classes got like buffed and they became much stronger than what they used to be while Sage just stayed where he was. So... In the previous tier list, he was S tier, but he had no changes which buffed him and made him stronger, so he fell behind. That's all. How do they announce the GM buffs? Never saw it on EU. I'm not sure, man. I just hear it from other players. I think it's a matter of just Rinku being bored and be like, you know what? I'll help out the boys. I play on Kate server and Sage is getting buffed. Really? There are some changes. Nice. So they aren't nerfed, just weaker in comparison. Yeah. Yep. There's a Sage buff soon. Nice. Nice. Supposed to be there all day, he said. Oh. Oh, what are the Mewa changes? That would be interesting. I love Awaken Mewa. It's just that not a class that I wanted to like proper main. I can't leave my mystic, man. My mystic is like the one class that I will never stop playing. I should get good with striker. Honestly, if I just practice my ass off and get good with striker, that just solve all my problems. <laughs> Already at 8.7%. Look at that. We need to hold our BSR for the Shadow Wolves. Hey, Greco. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. What's your lightstone effect for hunting? A uh, canine tooth. So I use the hunting mastery artifacts. I use the canine tooth. 
lights don't affect. What about hash? Any buffs coming soon? I don't know. Any? Did you guys see anything on Global Labs for hash? You need some buffs, but honestly, fighting him is just so annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying. Him flying around with his tornadoes and shit. Oh, man. Imagine buffing him. Yeet. Here's my artifact set right here. It's trap, track, claws, and the iridescent lightstone. Corsair, Mewa? Nice. Like, what's going on with Mewa, though? I'm actually interested in that. Nerf Ninja? The thing is, I don't think Ninja is, like, as a class... Like, I don't think he's, like, cracked out of his mind as a class. It's the potential it has. Like, for example, there's no class, like, very few classes where you can chain skills at a high APM like you do for a ninja. I think that's what makes him crazy. Rather than nerfing him, I'd like them to, you know, bring more mechanics, like, do mechanical changes to other classes. So they can also have that potential of being good. Like if you play a tr play against a trashy ninja, you can handle them no problem. If you play against a good ninja, the difference is huge. Rhino's the best XP for hunting. Yep, 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 yep. I don't play her, so I didn't read too much into it. A lot of changes though. Ah, nice. Let's see what Nayashi says about that. Large Awakening Accuracy Buff. Ooh. That interests me. Nice. Oh, we got, we're got we at 75 Kafras. This is dope. We're getting a lot of Kafras. I am very pleased with that. All right. No, I don't need a, I don't need a hunting potions anymore. I need to stop. Hitting those. Yeah, we're at 1450. I wish Wizard could get 20% speed as a passive. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so slow when I'm in the arena of Solar. Like, Mystic does not feel responsive at all. Awaken Mystic fine for PV or Succession better? I think Succession's better. Awaken Mystic's issue is she still has a ramp up time. Like, she'll do good damage, but the ramp-up time is still there, while Succession doesn't have nearly as large as uh, large of a ramp-up. Wi-Fi is being lame? Aw, oh, man. Sorry to hear. Hitting 62 this hour. Grats, dude. Is there a mystic... Uh... But on Solaire, if there's a mistake, I'm actually relieved. They're so tanky. <laughs> Depends on the player. Oh my god. Alexa, chill. Scared the shit out of me. No. <laughs> She's talking about some random shit, man. <laughs> I'm like, why? Do you want to know more? No. You think hunting a Narvan step for the pot piece of doing treasure event is faster than tanning? Um, the hunting is actually out in Odraxia as well. So I think coming over here to Rhino would be the fastest way. Or hunting around Narcian would be the fastest way to get it. That's provided you have mastery. You need a good mastery for hunting to be viable. Rank 1 in EU is a mystic. I'd love to see some of his gameplay. Like, does he have any videos or anything? Because I really need to learn from someone who's good. The only good mystic I, I've i talked to recently is Travesty. And he plays Awakening. He loves Awakening. What's a good mastery? I'd say 13 to 1400 is a good place to start. If you're just going for the pot piece, even 1200, say above 1200 is a good place. Am 
All right, I got my BSR up. In five minutes, I have to do the Shadow Wolves again. Yeah, for us, it's Devios. Devios is, has claimed the rank one spot. I wonder what he was doing in the first uh, week or so. He, he didn't play. He just suddenly decided, hey, I'm going to go take my spot. <laughs> Do you recommend starting the season at this time? When does the season end? If you're a new player, I recommend playing the season, trying to get the season ending rewards, and just playing the next season again. Because the end of season rewards are really good, like a pen kaposha and stuff. Like, what did we all get? What did we get? We got. Pen Kaposha ring, Pen Kaposha necklace, earring, belt. Definitely getting those end of season rewards are huge. Because that necklace is worth 10 bill. A, pe a tet necklace right now is like 10 bill something, right? That's. Gotta get 61 on my drag soon. Dude, I, I need to hit 7k family fame. So on the final week, I'm definitely gonna power level characters. I'm just gonna, the week before, I'm gonna get all the characters ready, just in place and position. And then I'm just gonna power level them. Up, oh, boss rhino's up. So this spawns randomly whenever you're hunting mobs in Narcyon. If you're hunting like shadow wolves, a big giant shadow wolf boss will spawn. Lions will spawn a lion boss. And so on and so forth they drop more meat and xp and all that stuff and it's dependent on the drop rate so like if you have drop rate buffs loot scrolls and all that stuff uh, they spawn at a higher frequency but i don't recommend using loot scrolls for this it's only if you're like a really high mastery hunter who doesn't grind at all and has like hundreds and hundreds of loot scrolls saved up with nothing to use it on that's the only situation i would use those but right now we have a 50 percent buff for the hot time event which affects it and also grinding on arsha hunting on arsha also affects it grind sulfur mine for bmc's and money yeah sulfur is pretty dope especially after the terrified pet i think that really helps out a sulfur even leveling hunting hunting that fast you farm rhinos until the weapon break yeah and just repair the weapon with uh with your tent oh shit i forgot i'm gonna have to mention in the guide that you need a tent otherwise you'll be running back and forth to the npc that's toxic isn't it <laughs> All right, I need to go do the Shadow Wolf quest right after these three. Because I'm going to lose that buff in a minute. Let's go. Where are we at? Oh my god, look at how quick this is going up. We just hit 19. We're already at like 18.7%. It's crazy. All right. So... Whenever you're doing this quest, the best way to do it is with your BSR. So stack them up, get behind them, and just pop them. Sometimes I'll get all 10, but usually they just hop around too much. I'm going to ignore these guys because we don't need them. Let's see the XP we're getting with the butchering these wolves. It's not bad. It's like 0.6 to 0.7 per. But as you can see, rhinos are way quicker. You can get over like half a percent XP at my level. All right. Oh, my life skill XP buff ran out. Shoot. There we go. That's another hour. All right. That's enough. Um, the hotkey for using your BSR skill on your musket is F. So once you have 100%, point at the target and shoot F. And it doesn't AOE, so stacking up mobs is a really good way to 
kill a lot of them quickly. I have five plus ten artisan match locks on me right now. Oh man. Well, at least there's an NPC right here who can repair. Like this guy, he, he's a stable. So you can repair your stuff here as well. So it's not too bad. But yeah, I I got you. It, it's rough, man. It's rough. <laughs> I wish like some of those things weren't a you know a part of the game. Like weight, weight's toxic. Um the tent. Inventory I'm okay with. At least over time they made inventory less important. And even weight, like they made it a lot more lenient. They like reduced the weight of a lot of trash. gotten better uh any drop rate buff including arsha will increase the chance of spawning the boss hunting mobs because that's scaled off of your item drop rate so actually hunting on arsha is a thing for that of course we can't do that on stream <laughs> for obvious reasons I hate these rocks in the way. Yeah, got it. All right. Let's see. Look at that. Still getting rhinos giving me half a percent. It depends on what items drop. Like, if you get, like, hard sharps, uh, kafras and stuff, you get more XP. Yoma, what's up, dude? How's it going? Planning on coming back to BDO soon. I used to watch your content uh, before for guides. I heard uh, they changed Striker on previous update. I'm too lazy to read the patch notes. <laughs> Anything important? Yeah, Awakened Striker is a lot better now. He's very much viable for PvE. Succession just got stronger, so the rotations changed a bit, but Awakening has better AoEs and is less APM, less intense on your fingers, while Striker is stronger in terms of DPS, but is a lot sweatier to play. I actually did my grind for the Flame of Frost with Awakening. Like 97 out of the 100 flames were, embers were with awakening what you're saying is don't come fight you yeah exactly venzi what's up bro believe me v i'm just shooting my mobs <laughs> all right well what are we at we are 22 percent i'm definitely going for the next hunting level on stream Succession Striker's still OP. Yeah, he's always been OP in PvE. He's the god king of damage in this game. Doing Flame Grind on Ninja and thinking of tagging a Striker. Nice. Which one? Frost Flame or the one at two rows? Striker is definitely dope. Succession is sweaty though. You gotta know if you're doing the full DPS rotation, it's a high APM thing, like 70 to 80 APM for me. Compared to like the 50 APM for Awakened Striker. So you guys gotta choose for yourself what you wanna spend the most time on. Like, do you wanna get as much money as you can for more effort? Or just a little bit less money for less effort? APM means actions per minute. Why not Jade Forest? What what do you do other than Jade Forest? Oh, sorry, you said doing Jade Forest. <laughs> Just read that. My bad. I tried Morwalks. It wasn't that great for embers anyway. So Jade Forest, I did. I used to average three to four an hour. There were some hours I got zero, and the low, 
the most I got is eight in an hour. Um, at Murawaks, I only went there for an hour and 45 minutes on the last day for the last four embers. Uh, reason being is I wanted to get the knowledge there and never wanted to go back there just specifically for the knowledge. So I went there. After two rounds, the boss spawned. Uh, we killed it. I only had two of the boxes, so I got one ember out of that. And then I stayed until the next boss spawned solo. I, I, I went through all seven rounds solo, and then I killed the boss solo. That was another... So 18 boxes I opened. So basically, whenever you're killing the Murwoks, there are some elite mobs which come, and you can kill them for these Carpuses, which you turn in for boxes, which uh, have a random chance of giving you loot. Like, for example, those um, Winter Region... Um, you know, the... What do you call those? Armor crystals, those crystals, I forgot what they're called, shit. But you get those crystals, embers, chance of the flame, and all that stuff in the boxes. So, um, after I did the solo run and killed a boss, I had 18 of the boxes, out of which I got four of the embers. Or sorry, three of the embers. So, it's basically four out of 20 boxes. And my friend said that that's actually a pretty high rate. <laughs> so, Jade Forest is definitely better off. And you get more money in Jade Forest, too. The money at Murwok sucks. I even turned off my loot scroll. I'm like, this is abysmal. And I turned it on for the final boss. Who do you place under Striker in PvE if he's top tier? I don't know. Uh, I haven't really... There was a tier list I made in April. I didn't release because I couldn't agree with all the classes. Some classes I just didn't know. And I didn't want to put out bad info on purpose. If I make a mistake, I'm okay with making mistakes, but I don't want to put out things that I didn't... I knew was wrong. Why aren't you on Twitch? I don't know, just trying out YouTube, man. I'm going to have to increase the bitrate, though. The quality is not perfect. I'm going to try increasing it more. On Twitch, I'm just really annoyed with the ads. The ads are just... Ugh. So I might like do like a stream a week on YouTube or something because that's like content for the channel. It stays on the channel. People watch it. Yeah. Annoying. Yeah, dude, I wish I never accepted the affiliate and Twitch partnership. I wish I just stayed uh, restreaming. <laughs> but hey, is what it is. You cannot worry about the past. How are you doing though, dude? Did you see that? Evan hit a Tet Labresca. I bet that guy's been through 10 grand on this game. If he says he's not paying any money to the game, I think it's. He is lying. Where is he at? He better have paid a lot of money. <laughs> Otherwise, he's carried as fuck. Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no one's as boosted as him. Honestly, fuck Twitch. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, like, some of the things they do. They've got issues. Let's be real. Can you opt out of the affiliate program? I'm currently partnered, so I can't drop the partnership for two years, so probably just another year or so so like next year i'll drop out of that i don't know if you can drop out of the affiliate program but if they do uh, there is a uh, rumors going around that they're going to let us start restreaming even as twitch partners if they do that i'll stay in a partnership then it's like no problem calcs i use that if i go to a new spot and i'm just like not confident like the first time i went to all i used that Otherwise, we got full DPS. Sharkon piece a lot better farming night or day. Ah, it's hard to say, man. It's just RNG. It's just RNG, honestly. Yo, what's up, Shadow? I had a suck striker before I tagged my lawn because I got bored of playing one class. Want to see more guys? Yeah, man. Uh, I'll try to put out more stuff. But honestly, Lawn is a pretty top tier grinder even now. So one thing about Lawn is she's a lot less effort than Striker, Suck Striker. 
She's really chill on the APM. Honestly, I should level one up. I'm going to level up a Drac, a Musa, maybe Berserker, and maybe Alon. So I need to level up four classes to 61 because by the end of this event, I want to have 7k family thing. Oh, there's the boss. Where is he? There he is. Come here. This is nice spawning. I mean, we've been grinding with the GM buff. We got freaking the drop rate event going on. It's dope. Which mobs do you kill at night? I don't remember the name. Sorry. It's in my Discord, though. The BDR Rares Discord, if you want to check it out. Enjoyed Lawn so much. Chill grind. Yeah, dude. All the monsters? Oh, yeah. If you... At night, it might be all the monsters, yeah. I guess it's during the day where it's specifics. But all the monsters drop the pity pieces. I know that. Right in the day, the drop rate of the piece is like 0 0.0025%. At night, it's 0 0.025. Yeah, but you're killing a lot less of them at night. I never did the night one. I wasn't there long enough. <laughs> Zerker can be really sweaty. Dude, suck Zerker, man. You gotta, they gotta just answer this question. Why the hell is Zerker the highest mobility class in the game with no punishment? Like, if he's flying around the place, like, and it doesn't cost him stamina or much stamina and he can sustain it for like ever, it's like, why? Compared to like a Musa or a Mewa who are known to be the mobility classes. Why did why Zerker? I, I need to know that. What were they thinking? I got two Sharikon uh, pancakes yesterday. <laughs> Congrats, dude. Why not? <laughs> because he's the giant who does massive AoEs. Who has like ridiculous grabs. Like... Every class got to have something, you know? Yeah, he has he has a lot of things, though. That's the thing. Which class in the game, in which video game, can actually suplex someone? Grab him by the head, spin him around, and slam him to the ground. Back on YouTube? Yeah, dude. What's up, Harsha? Yeah, trying, trying out YouTube stream again. And we didn't have any bots today. I'm surprised. We've been streaming for how long? How long has this stream been going on? Uh... It doesn't say. Oh, there it is. An hour 42 minutes, right? So, no bots. <laughs> WWE games. No MMORPG has that. When are we going to get a WWE MMO, huh? <laughs> oh, that'd be shit. Man, I used to watch wrestling back when I was in, like, high school. Early days of college. Like, when they had, like, badasses around. Now they're all, like, same old guy still there. Like getting you, getting you, getting you like wrestlers, dude. Like, put some newer guys up there. It's literally the same people from there. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. It's not my problem. What's our percentage? 34.72. Nice suit. We might be able to get it in the next 45 minutes. We'll see. All right. But I do need to go grab a drink. I'll be right back. I'm out of water. I'm going to get some Coke. I'll be right back. One sec. Stand by. Stand up. Stand up. Hey, this is YouTube. No ads. <laughs> and Twitch is like, every time I needed to take a break, I'd time it with the ad break. Hey, that's something. All right, be right back.
Oh shoot. Should have switched to a different character instead of the striker. Alright, I'm back. Wasted some of the striker's buff. Alright, after I do this hunting level, I need to go do Imperial Turn In and set up for tonight's Jatina grind. How much money per hour do you make? Do you think you can make from hunting 1200 mastery? Four hundred fifty mil an hour at deers. I think that's like a good average to estimate. But it depends on how well you hunt. You have to be efficient at killing as many mobs as possible in one hour. So I think you can make over five hundred mil if you get good at it. But that's counting like all the drops, even like the heads, the Narcion. Uh, what are they called? Breath of Narcion or whatever those are. All right. What are we? What are we at right now? 35%, 35.58. Let that guy stack up closer. Got all my buffs going. Yep. 15 minutes on the hunting buff. Mind if I post a link to a sheet for hunting? Yeah, go ahead. I don't know if the auto mod will stop you. <laughs> Actually, better uh, you post it in my uh, in Discord or something, because I'm pretty sure the auto mod will jump you for it. Oh, we just got the quest right now. Perfect timing. We'll need it in just 15 minutes. How much meat do I have? 12,000 random meat. Not bad. Not bad. Money is money. More importantly, how many Cafras do I have? That's the that's the big thing. 85, 87 Cafras. Very nice. I got a lot of rhino heads. I need to start converting them. No, they're not the best thing, but they still sell. Yeah, I don't know if the YouTube let you put the link in. You can drop it in my Discord. Maybe you guys can see there. But there is a calculator which uh, gives you an approximate. Is it Byrog's calculator you're looking at, uh, Harsha? That was pretty pretty accurate. How easy on the hands is Awakened Striker compared to other classes you played? Well, Succession Striker is a very intensive class. Uh, Guardian is a very chill class. Like, for example, Succession was about 70 to 80 APM. Guardian was about 35 to 40. Awakened Striker is about 50. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. GPW? I see. But yeah, it's it's much more chill than Succession. It has really great AoEs. And especially when you're in, like, Orcs or something, grinding Elvia, like, oh, Awakened Striker will fly. Right now, I'm doing uh, my Jatina dailies at Viragi Den. So I'm getting about like five to eight shards every quest. And of course, I do like about. I try to do about two Marnie Stones worth every time I do it. I'm just getting those shards for my Jatina Pen Crescent ring I'm going to get soon. I need exactly seven days. So next week on Saturday, I should have it. Striker for PvE? Yeah, dude. He's a strong class, man. Succession is the god. Like, in all high-end spots, like Crypt and Olin's, like, Succession Striker is one of the most common classes used. He's just tanky and hits like a truck. You hit 62, should I sell this tri-ring? Why are you asking that? Is it because you got the Kaposha ring or something? 
or what? What character? This is a succession mystic I'm hunting on right now. She has a 20% crit bonus with 2% attack speed, 2% movement speed as her passives. So I, and she's, she was already my life skilling main. I continue using. Yeah, you can do that. Definitely don't tap it. <laughs> it's not worth the risk. I'd say just sell it and profit. I've tried tapping so many times, so many fails. Eight, 18 bill in the gutter, I think something like that. Hey, Narcion boss, where you at? There he is. Go grind, get cute. Oh, Megalol. Good advice, bro. Ah. <laughs> oh. But I can't sustain grinding for too many hours. That's why I do hunting. It's a lot easier on the hands. A lot more chill. Okay, we got nine minutes on the quest buff, so I'll need to save up my BSR. All right. I don't really like to process. I'd rather just grind and buy it. Yeah. Definitely viable, and they really buffed up the money per hour in grinding, so 100%. More loot, that's it. That's it. More loot, like, in terms of meat and stuff. And more XP. And better chance of getting the Breath of Narcions. I don't think I have any any this session. But all the mobs can drop that. But it's just a higher chance with the bosses, I think. like these and these like even if the prices are low they're really good because you can convert the stuffed heads into the supreme variants and that's one of the materials required like i have like 12 or yeah i think i have like 12 of the doughs i'll show you guys which i didn't sell but just check it out um uh, see i made master stuffed verdure doughs i can convert these into the supreme variants which are 155 mil each they last for three hours 10 uses so i figured i'll just keep them because i'm going to need them in the future but if i ever need like money quick i might sell them what's up funk old man yeah <laughs> actually <laughs> oh it'd be like that dude Well, once I change my keyboard, it's been a lot better, but still, I'm like, I don't want to get to the point where my hands start hurting after playing for an hour hardcore. So I'm just conserving my strength to when I actually need to play hardcore, like a raid or PvP. Yeah, Rhinos are the most XP in Narcian. Forty-four point eight percent, almost forty. Oh, er, almost forty-six percent. Should be able to get this next level in an hour. My screen's a bit dark, isn't it? It's almost nighttime in game. Shit. There, I have a little bit of light now. <laughs> What's your hunting buff list? Uh, there's attack speed elixir, the GM buff, the quest buff, uh, villa buff, elixir for life skill XP, elix elixir of shock for crit rate, alchemy stone, seafood cron meal, life XP scroll, and Lara's uh, milk tea. Or black tea, sorry. All right, uh, I still have six minutes. I can do a few more packs before I have to do the quest again. And no problem, man. Oh, what I get there? Oh, never mind. That was nothing. Thought I got something big. Yeah, hunting is really chill, dude. It's good money, and it's like I mix it up with 
grinding in in between that because like grinding is a lot more intensive i can't do it for too many hours now sometimes i just want to chill and not focus and this is like harmless activity <laughs> oh someone tapped a tet centaurs good job v go pen Who's closer? No one's close by. There was. There we go. This is like a great spot. I used to hunt in the other spot down south, but this is like you don't have to run anywhere. There's so many rhinos around you. The respawn is so good. I don't know if they like buffed the respawn rate or something. I know they did like earlier this year. Yeah, I prefer to make money too, but with this event going on, now's like the time to power level. So I'll get to like high 30s and then hopefully high 30s, unless I quit, quit hunting. Um, and then the next time they do a hunting life skill event or a life skill event in general, I will do the final push for G50. <laughs> You can kill more wolves in, in time you kill one rhino, but the rhinos are still... No, that's not true. Rhinos are more XP for how much time it takes to kill them. Each wolf only gives 0.6, and rhinos can give up to 0.5. Like, sorry, not 0 0.6, 0 0.06. And rhinos can give up to 0.5, so you'd have to kill almost like 8 wolves in the time you kill one rhino. Even on the lower end of like 0.3%, that's still like 5 wolves. These are way quicker. And also, you spend a lot more time butchering wolves than you would uh, butchering the rhino, so that's also calculated into the kill speed. Hey, morning, Nippin. What's up, man? How's it going? You're not streaming on Twitch? Yeah, uh, I wanted to try out YouTube again. Because I've gotten really annoyed with the ads on Twitch. <laughs> Managing like the pre-roll settings and when the ads are playing and stuff. On YouTube, when I stream on YouTube, I'll turn the ads off completely. And I'll just turn on a pre-roll ad later. When I uh, leave the VOD on after the streaming is done. And I think that's a fair trade-off, you know. You gotta help uh, the platform make some money. <laughs> but it doesn't harass like people watching it live. And lately, I haven't seen any of the bots in chat. So chat bots seem to have been resolved. Like, they must have some automated system preventing them from spamming live streams. That's good. The only one no friends request except. <laughs> but I'm going to steal your rhino. Oh, man. The reason why I don't have a friends list active in this game is I don't like when notifications pop off. That's the only reason, man. It's nothing personal. <laughs> The only friends I have is my alt account and Delph, Delphi. I'll go bug him when I'm bored. <laughs> Rhinos are best XP, wolves are just uh, used for the buff quest. Yeah, yeah. Also, convert stream to a VOD on YouTube is amazing. Yeah, it just automatically goes. It's automatically there, so I'm like, easy. And people watch my VODs on YouTube, whereas on Twitch, it's like, rarely. A striker cannot hold anything against another. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I only do the wolves when I get the mission, which actually, since my buffs are falling off right now, we'll go do that. So I don't have to rebuff until I'm back here at the spot. And always keep your get your BSR ready 100% for this, because that's the fastest way to do it. Group them up. Boom. Okay, we got seven of them, but we got the other two pretty low, too. These do take a little bit of time to busher, but hey, it's okay. Money's money. We're at 90 Cafras. Nice. I needed like a solid 600 Cafras for my Labresca helmet, so we'll definitely make enough Cafras by the time it's. I'll have to uh, actually craft the helmet. I still need like a Griffin's pre-order though. 
It's been tough uh, getting these. There's a lot of people who are trying to get them. Worst case scenario, I can buy like two other boss gear and just, you know, convert. Did hunting because of your video. Only got G1 hunting. Dude, G1 is good. Once you get G1, you'll fly. Like, it actually gets faster for the next few levels. <laughs> because you get four bullets. It's underrating. Underrated. It's actually sick profit. Yeah, man. It's a good break from grinding. It's easy on the hands. Doesn't take too much energy. Like, I'm only down 50 energy. And we've been doing this for an hour, 45 minutes. Of course, when if you go to like Shadow Wolves, you burn your energy really a lot quicker. But at Deer, I only burn like... I think it takes me an hour, 45 minutes to get through 455 energy. So it's still a long time. And I never really do more than an hour. I'm just doing it now because I'm trying to maximize the XP gain during the buffs. Right. Let's keep going. What's our XP at? 52.96%. So the goal is G20 today. Which we will definitely get. People don't do it because they don't want to go through the extra effort of using the meats and hide. Oh, hell no, nah, dude. I, I just sell my stuff now. I don't even cook anymore. <laughs> After the price uh, of meat rebounded, like once upon a time, they're like 14K, 15K each earlier this year. Now they're going up to like 19, 20K. If you just wait for it to fluctuate and dump at the right times, the amount of money I'm making is just too good. I should like cook more often, but it's just that now with the hot time buff going on, like before I used to cook during work when I'm just AFKing. But because of the hot time buff going on, I didn't want to waste time cooking. I wanted to just uh, maximize it. So I've been doing more active gameplay. Normally, I just play for an hour actively grinding and an hour of like hunting. The hour of grinding is for the Jatina daily and getting the Flame of Frost. But now that we have it, I just do like Baragi Den because I'm trying to get the shards. So now our daily Jatina will be for shards. And pretty soon, the Jatina Daily is going to be done, too. So. Does the XP buff work for bartering? Uh, it should. Let's check. Is it not there? Yeah, it's there. 50% for bartering as well. Sailing and bartering. It's there. Go ham, Jeffrey. How are you doing, dude? Good to see you again. It's all the life skills. Was trading not there? I think someone said something about trading not being there, but I think maybe the chat box is just not big enough to put all the buffs there. Maybe the trading buff is actually there, but it's just the box isn't big enough. 75%? <laughs> is it 70 or 75? I thought it's 70. Except trading? So trading isn't there? Okay. Sag. Life skill if you plan on it. Yeah, dude. Get that G1 gathering the G1 hunting. Hunting is so quick to level up. You can literally do it in a day. Sailing. I think the best way to level up sailing is through the dailies, unfortunately. In the sailing discord, people used to every day host... Uh, the crack run so they they'd boost people through all of the dailies sailing dailies and the crack dailies so that's how people used to level up going to guru today nice dude insurrection you should you'll definitely hit it man you have some buffs going trading is the exception it was in the patch note why is that what was the reason for it Man, I got I got professional 10 trading from power leveling in bear because you get the trade turn in items and that alone took me from like skill 10 to professional 10. <laughs> it was like a lot of XP. Surprised. What were the hunting quests you said that gives you the hunting skills? Uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's the ones which have a title of 
artisan something. Let's see if I can find it again. I tried finding it earlier. I couldn't find it. Let's see. Suggested. Unhide all the completed ones. Not the combat support. Not the combat ones. Life. Advancement. Hunting. This, this is the guru ones, which is not it. Anyone know where it is? Because it's definitely... Here, maybe it's because I finished it. But it says completed. I don't know, man, but it's definitely here. Uh, it's not showing all of them for me right now. Even though it should show all of them. But yeah, it, it's over there. I think the last quest thing is like something with Legendary hunt Hunter or something like that. I know Grumpy Green has a guide on it, which uh, show all the quests you need to do and stuff. Finally reached Guru Alchemy from spamming reagent. Dude, spamming reagents? How long did that take? Because like reagents give me very little XP now. Show finished quest? quest? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was supposed to tick mark it, not untick it. Oh, my bad. One sec. Let me finish this right now. And loot them. Oops. My bad. Life advancement. Uh, still, where is it? I don't know. Not streaming on Twitch anymore. I'm just trying on YouTube today. I've been thinking of get getting back into the game. Used to play back then when Sulphur Mines was the best silver per hour. It's still really good, man. Yeah, there's a lot of lot more grind spots, but they buff sulfur and all the Valencia spots. So like if you want, you can go back to sulfur mines, it's good money. Polys is good money. Centaurus is really cracked. And then at like 372 plus AP, you can start like grinding efficiently at the Elvia spots. Um that's like all the Heidel Elvia spots, the Serendia spots, sorry. Like desert or swamp fogan, swamp nagas, Biragi den, red orcs, bloody monastery, and then the Calfion Elvia spots came out. There's just a lot of places to grind, dude. Oh, out of elixirs. Let me get more out of my storage. Here we go. How long do we have on our buffs? Life buff, 21 minutes. Laura T, 63 minutes because we were slow on the buffs. And we are at 60.31%. We will definitely get this next level on the stream. 40% more to go. I'm waiting for a monster info area to update on console, like collecting stuff. Gotcha. The console is really behind. I wish they would just catch up console onto the PC's patch. But I don't know, like, what kind of effort it takes to, like, you know, bring all of the content there. Showing some love. <laughs> good for his channel overall? I think so. I think it's good for the channel. Gets more uh, videos up, but I, I really do like YouTube. The freedom it gives me with the ads and stuff. That's like the biggest issue I have with Twitch, the pre-roll ads. That's like my main concern with that one. But, you know, is what it is. All right, let's do one more. How about that one. Bell probably won't be on console. Why not? It should be. They recently released Bartering, so like Vel is kind of tied in with having 
good chips to be able to even kill it. So it'll it will come eventually. Not super intense, but I was shocked they were unable to roll out Vel on consoles. Maybe they're like waiting for enough people to like get boats. I don't know. I don't like how they're social. Oh, social justice warriors. <laughs> you mean, who are you talking about? Twitch? None of that stuff bothers me. Like, if someone wants to, like, advocate something, as long as they're not impeding my ability to do whatever I'm doing, I'm like, you know, if that's how you want to spend your time, by all means, spend your time. That's not a problem. As long as no policies like leak through which cause trouble, like I haven't had any policies which, uh, you know, diminished my content in any way. So if Twitch wants to do something, let, I'd say by all means. How do a power level guru one alchemy? Ah, uh, I'm trying to figure it out too, man. I want to gamba those light stones as well, Daryl. Right now I'm looking at clown's blood and I'm just like researching like uh, which recipes go into which uh, elixirs because I want to make like elixirs as well, like frenzy elixirs and those kind of things. So my goal is going to be to have all the mats ready for the final week so that I can do all of the, I can utilize all of the fruits I have so I might save a few just as um, you know just to keep a stockpile but I want to utilize all of these at least most of them because I know like making the higher level items will give me the most XP so I'm gonna just see what I can do because a lot of the pre-orders take time to fill like trace of earth you need like you can only pre-order a hundred at a time So we'll see, we'll see. And I tapped my Manos uh, Alchemy clothes yesterday. I was like, it was, I got to a point where I was down to like just 10 uh, concentrated stones. I'm like, okay, if I get another try, I'm just gonna call it quits and just sell it at try. But then after I hit that try, I'm like, I gave into the temptation and just tapped it. Like, oh, just one more. <laughs> and it went through. It failed like at least seven times going to Tet. We can only spam reagent, dude. Uh, I need to see. I need to try that again. And but I'll use some calculators and see how how much XP I'm gonna get. Because spamming those is not much XP, man. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, Sixty-five percent. Boom. Sixty-six percent. Damn, it's so dark. There's no real power leveling with alchemy, just continuous effort coming from a G28 alchemist. Oh. Dang, you're the expert here. Give us advice. <laughs> but yeah, continuous effort is correct. Like, I was looking into all the things that I can make, right? And getting a large stockpile of them is like pretty difficult. So it's not like cooking where we can just like easily buy date palms and stuff it's a lot more expensive 0 0.01 now dude same i'm at m1 or m2 that's how much i get i'm like how do i power level to out to guru with this that'll take way too many to cook or alchemy utensils i say that in history at night what if i what the fuck am I hitting? Is this an Elton? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty freaking dark. Come on, reload the full full barrel. Oh, look at the damage I put on that rhino. You got fucked up. Yeesh. 
Region and blood is bad uh, leveling because no rare proc, but it's good because you can spam it whenever. Yeah. Oh, no, I missed a rhino. Shoot. <laughs> I took too long. Took too long. That's what it is. We'll just do four at a time. I'm not focused right now. How many rhinos can you leave dead? Usually it's five, but right now I'm just... Half my attention is on chat, so I've been ki killing a bit slower. Like mass cooking? Yeah. I have like 23 supreme utensils and their repair, so... I think I'm good for G1. We'll have to see. Yeah. Basically, I want to like make elixirs and proper alchemy stuff. So I just need to prepare everything. That's the goal for the final week of the hot time buff. I'm going to prepare everything and just go ham. And see how far it's going. If it's like if I feel like I'm not going to be able to hit G1, I'll quit. And just go all in on hunting instead. So we'll see. Oh. 69% Kappa. Damn, this game is dark. I need to turn on the gamma. There, so we can see. <laughs> Big damage. Let's go. Repair. Man, I have a lot of rhino heads. Crazy. Will is half decent if you don't mind sitting on it for a long time because it turns into a beast draft. Group Reaper is hard to make. Oh, good to know. How difficult is it to make frenzies? Because I need to start making my own. With the number of pre-orders on there, it's like rough. And like frenzies, I can actually make them into frenzy drafts and sell them. I think I'd get like 50 Abyssal Essence per hour. That's not bad. Best spot to gather fur sap. Oh, not familiar. Sorry. Not hard, but you have to always pre-order trace a battle. Oh, true. Do you just take hunter's clothing and use a tailoring coupon? Uh, yeah, the one you get from the from the uh, NPC. Let me see if I have one over here too. Nope, I don't. The luxury vendor NPC, whatever she's called. Yeah, you just use a tailoring coupon on it. 10% hunting XP. Oh, you got Corona, man? How can that happen? <laughs> I mean... People, people still get it. <laughs> even with the vaccines and all that stuff. Even with uh, getting it previously. It's just the nature of the situation now. A pay to win plus one DP absolutely ruins the game. Oh, dude, I never bought a tailoring coupon. They always gave them out like for free from login rewards and just pre ordering it. I never spent money on that. Hell no. Ruins the game. <laughs> Mega lol, that one DR, man. One DR. <laughs>
Which? <laughs> what? Chaos? What is Chaos? Run by Sims? Oh, Megalol. You mean Twitch is? <laughs> Yikes. Ah, oh, Twitch ain't bad. Twitch ain't bad. It's not. It's just this. I'm pretty sure they're in losses always, perpetually. Like even YouTube, it's really difficult for them to break even, just because how much hardware it takes to run a service like that. So I, I get why they do their shenanigans, but no, not a fan of the ads. I saved two ever since PA took over from Cacao. They seem to be more generous. Oh yeah, PA has been way more giving in, so, in terms of the free stuff because they can. <laughs> Cacao, it's a bit diff different, right? They're the publisher. For them, all their income depends on, you know, how much we're spending on the cash shop. For PA, they have multiple games and stuff there. They're keeping up. Well, look at their login rewards right now. We're getting like free costumes, dude. Check that out. That's very rare. I think um, EA's given out free costumes before. I think last year we got a couple the Marine Romance one and something else. Ordinary costumes. It's nice. Twitch ads are just more annoying. Yeah, dude. YouTube, at least I can turn them off whenever I want. Like, for YouTube, it's completely in the content creator's decision. Like, if you see a bunch of ads on a YouTube video, that means the content creator manually went in and put all those ads in. Unless it's been copyrighted by someone else. Like, for example, if you use, like, someone else's music or something, those people can come in and put as many ads as they want on your video. But at the end of the day, someone is deciding to put those there. Or on Twitch, it's like our hands are tied. We can change the frequency and stuff and things like that. But then the pre-roll ads come up. Sorry, the coffee machine in the background. Give it a few minutes. Devos number one, what a lad. I know, dude. He's an absolute god. I remember during the the Arena of Arsha Best in Class tournament, someone took one round off him, and then everyone in chat was like, God does bleed. <laughs> oh, what's up, Lax? How's it going? Oh, Jeffrey. Um, you know, you can load cargo from the wharf manager. You just talk to the wharf manager. Um, you load the cargo through him on and off the boat. And getting to the boat, that's why I use a lawn. I always fly to the boat. Way easier. And also you can teleport to the boat if you're close enough. By clicking on the boat icon on the menu. Gloomer better than Devious in my opinion. Well, it's NA versus EU so we can never really get a good fight between them. I think both of them are just good. Gloomer has been more active in the PV grinding scene, right? Like in terms of benchmarking and stuff. Any big uh, farmers in the chat? Got a question about Petapat mole spawning? <laughs> Ooh, never got one of those. I remember GM Lamoria telling us about that during that Calfion ball. I'd pay more on what do you watch? Uh, FT10 between Gloomer and Devios. Lol. They need to fly someone out to one of the offices, either EU or NA, and get them to play on zero ping. Winner takes all. All the glory, all the bragging rights. You've gotten one? Oh, dude, lucky. All right, five minutes left on the buff. I'm going to have to hold my BSR. I 
Are they supposed to spawn automatically after killing the giant? Mole. Well, not sure. I've never even seen it. Anyone know? Mole that can spawn when you loot crop loot a crop? Yeah, I mean not the mole. I think he's asking about the pitapat mole. It's like a another even more rare event. It's RNG. Yep. How many were there in NA? There was like only like one or two or something, right? So it's like a rare pet event from farming. It's like super rare. All right, guys, we're almost at the next hunting level. Almost at G freaking 20. Any tinfoil hat to make that happen? No, dude, I don't know. So you, that is like the rarest pet in the game, the Pitapat Mole. I need to add that to the rare treasure discord. <laughs> That'd be funny. Did you make your hedge T5? No, I made my Arctic Fox T5. Um, Hedgehog does not get a better effect with the gathering for being T5. They've uh, mentioned it in the patch notes. So if I do it, it's only for the 1% life skill XP. I need to first research the info about the Pitapat Mole Man. I gotten four after killing giant moles, but the last three giant moles I killed this week, no Pitapat Mole spawn. Dude, how how quickly did you get those spawns raging? They're supposed to be like super rare. I might have got some Pitapat spawns, I just didn't know what it was. <laughs> Apparently, some dude uh got a Pitapat one of the Things for the Pitapat Mall. Didn't know what it was and threw it away. <laughs> oh, man. So hunting bosses, where the hell are they? The ones that give titles? Like Griffin and Calc? I don't know. I never did those. These are the only bosses I know. The one that just spawned right now on my screen. These. I know Calc was like somewhere in um this area, isn't it? Pretty sure it's around Trent. Somewhere in that area. It does get life XP, but no increase to drop. Yeah. I felt like 700 mil for that 1% wasn't worth it. Yet. In the future, I might. The calc is flying around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised I haven't gotten any Narcion breaths. You've been hunting for quite a bit. Usually I'd get like three by now. Hella high up. I tried to use the mountain vision range. And it moves too quickly to shoot at it. What if you use like a sniper rifle or something? I don't know. I never I never went for those. Remember when fugitive calc earrings were like pog? Because they gave you stamina? Remember when that was relevant in the game? <laughs> Equivalent of the witch's earring and then for HP you go for blue the whale molar the blue whale molar earrings oh man it's like 15 AP for 100 HP damn juicy Who wants to be a tank Let's see the calc fugitive calc earrings look at that 15 AP 9.8 bill for 150 stamina. Whoa, that's more stamina than I thought. I thought it was like only 50 stamina. 150? So you get two of those. That's 300 stamina. All right, we need to do this quest again because our hunting XP buff is almost out. We got the BSR. We pull the 10 shadow wolves. Just have to get behind them and boom. Oh, all 10 of them. Strike. Nice. Feeling when you get 10 co concentrated magical black gem, narc bread, three Kafras from one butcher. Oh man, that's huge. I only played once. Uh, it came out on Steam, so I don't know the super old ones. <laughs> I think uh, Steam was like pretty early into it. It's only like 2017. I think back then it was still relevant. Be able to get plus 15 and you had enough people grinding Monchon and 
Orcs for Ogre Rings? Was that really a thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Monsha Forest? Like, if you were caught killing an Orc, it was on site, man. People flagged up on site. Or not an Orc. Ogre. I remember back then, like, I used to make, like, 10 mil riding around on a Ranger just auto-attacking the Rudums. And I was like, yo, this is great money. Was, like, getting 10 to 20 mil an hour was, like, huge back then. And, like, you can overstack a lot more back then because, well, it was more relevant to overstack while on a ranger. Just some silly shenanigans. We got 111 Kafras. Let's go. Look at all this. 16k meat, 54 hearts, 29 sharps. A lot of rhino heads. We got some artifacts, which we're going to melt down. Solid, solid, solid. I really need those Kafras. I'm going to have to be really stingy with Kafras now. There are four kinds of mole that can spawn randomly from uh, just regular farming, but a Pitapat mole I've only seen spawn after killing the giant mole. Pitapat mole drops a petal. You need 10 petals for the rare farming mole pet. Gotcha. So, hey, maybe... Since you're an experienced farmer raging, can you tell me what this item does? The fertile rich, a fertile oil rich soil. Do you know what that's for? With the recent comma and dragon changes, it's nuts. It's not even joking. The, my highest Monsham hour was 800 mil, roughly. Damn, dude. That's for our mainer item? Gotcha. Yeah, I got it from farming. I'm like, what is it for? Oh, need to repair. And I need to rebuff. Let's go. All right. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I've gotten the pedal and I've deleted it. I, I just saw those. Yeah, I'll NPC those. Take it a cat plan and start a quest line. That's a few steps, and the end result will be for a home decor item. Nice. I didn't get the mansion yet. I should. I I decorated my house in Odraxia really nicely because I've spent a lot of time here. Especially with hunting now. I'll probably be here forever. How much you get in one hour of hunting? XP or money? It's like in one hour, I can make over 700 mil raw silver with just the materials. Just selling the materials on the marketplace. At deers. Verdure deer. That's like the best thing for me. Keep them tim foil for spawning the mole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rhinos aren't that great for money. They're only like three to four hundred mil. But since we started stream, I got 111 Kafras, which I'm pretty pogged about. And all of the stuff in my inventory here. Have you done Frost Bulls? I tried it. Only difference there is instead of the rare spawn of the Narcion mob, you get the, you get to kill the bear, the polar bear every once in a while. I heard it's pretty decent money though. Best for hunting, money making. Deer are really good, but it really depends on how quickly you kill, like your kill speed at which grind spot, and the current prices in the marketplace. Like the meat and blood, they fluctuate a lot, so it depends. Shadow Wolves have always been revered as the best spot, but Wolf Blood's been really dirt cheap. But you can get a lot more red meat per hour compared to deer. Yeah, you burn energy a lot quicker at Shadow Wolves. That's that's why I, I always prefer deer. Because with full energy, it takes me an hour, 45 minutes or so to burn all my energy. 37 minutes. Uh... 
this buff is over i'll just pop it again all right we should be almost leveled up just 14.5 percent or 13.5 percent to go i'm using my hedgehog she's out here it's over here i see it Any recommendations on how to get Blackstar Gauntlet? My Darker Gauntlet's now pen, but Blackstar is still not Tet. <laughs> just keep tapping, bro. Well, there's nothing much you can do there. You just keep tapping it. it. Is what it is. I don't know if I'm gonna go for the God Eye. I might, I might, we'll see. But honestly, a, a half of me, a part of me just thinks just C20, a Kafra and a Dandy is a better way to go, but we'll see. We shall see. I'm still way far off before deciding what to do there. Crying the corner in the room helps, <laughs> didn't help me. <laughs> I heard a life skill rumor that a different butcher meats have hidden tiers. Like, one say rhino meat can substitute for two to three sheep in cooking recipes. I'm not sure. If anything of that exists, you can go to a video analytics and whenever you swap out the meat, it should show you. You're using Mystic Suck Guide. Oh no, that's not updated for reworks, man. Mystic Suck uh, generates shards a lot quicker now. But like after you do that rotation, like the first bit of it, after the first finisher, just going to hit and claw immediately brings it back to three shards. And you can dump like all four of your finishers a lot quicker. Okay, we have 23 minutes on the quest buff. I won't need to do the quest buff for this session again. So I'll go ahead and burn the BSR here. Whoa, one hit took it to half health. Crazy. That's nuts. Nope, I'm not looking to do all ones right now. I'm tired. We've been grinding hard for this XP. We need a break. 90%, almost there. The Marshall Shard, yeah, dude. Really? You like it? Dude, I, I, I wasn't a fan. Like, look at the costume they gave for Valkyrie and look at what they gave for Mystic. All they do is objectify us. Like, I understand Valkyrie's not as good looking, so they want to cover her face up. <laughs> so they gave her a cool costume. <laughs> but Mystic is, like, sad. Like, look at this Valkyrie's costume. Absolute monstrous. How badass does this look? And then, meanwhile, Mystic, what do we get? This... What are these? What what is these puffy things here? What what is this? Why? Oh, look at that. Is that even comparable? Where my my Mystic Novakin outfit? Yeah, I need like a La or Zeka or that because I got zero hope for them to make cool Mystic outfits. Whoever designs the outfits for Mystic probably had like a thing against the guy who designed the class and always just dresses her up like a slut instead of making a cool outfit for her. <laughs> he probably has some personal vendetta against Mystics. If you guys remember what happened in RuneScape, right? So there was this J mod who who designed a one really popular NPC for Slayer and he designed her after his girlfriend and her name was Neve. But he turned out to be a corrupt J mod. He used this power to like make IRL money by like, you know, black market stuff on the game. So eventually he got caught and he got banned. Um, he got kicked out. So that NPC was still there and was still like a legacy of him, right? So when a big quest line came out, Monkey Bandus 2, they made her play a big part of it. And at the end of the quest line, they dropped a big ass boulder on her and killed her. <laughs> Just killed her. 
killed her off. That was funny, man. It was like they they held some sort of animosity to, towards the guy, rightfully so. He was corrupt, and they just threw away his legacy. Done, Dunzo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I remember the old days, man. I remember the day Slayer came out when I was in middle school, dude. I was in the eighth grade. Me and my friends were talking about it. They're like, oh, there's a new weapon called the Abyssal Whip. It's as strong as a battle axe, as fast as a dagger. Damn. <laughs> oh. Yeah, good times. The new striker is more ook, -ook but not ook enough. Oh, man. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Why, dude? Show me. I thought you were a bromie. <laughs> I think I can still butcher while he's attacking me, right? Ah, he CCs. Ah, the bongos. <laughs> the bongos. Ah, got it. Just gotta, just gotta. I'll play him here. Ah! Can I shoot him with the musket? I don't know if this musket can shoot people. It does like nothing. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think. What can I do? What can I do? Oh. I know what we could do. Uh... How, how do I put my weapon on? Oh, I got one. I just need the other one. <laughs> All right. I got a weapon. <laughs> but I don't have an awakening weapon on. Where do I get the awakening weapon? I thought I had one. Where is the awakening weapon? I had one. I don't know. We'll have to go without it. Come here. Come here, fool. Mobs, help me out. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't kill him. My striker has the gear, man. I can't kill him, man. <laughs> yeah. Give me a sec. <laughs> Ah, I should keep my striker nearby with the gear. All right, let me just change servers really quick. Three, two, and one. Oh, that's just adding. Actually, one sec. Let it load in. Yeah, my striker is uh, kind of far away. I don't have the gear on him or gear nearby for the mystic. Oh. One second. Let me make sure. Oh. I think we're good here. All right. Now I need my musket back because we're almost done with this hunting grind. Please don't hit me. There we go. Ah, he followed me. Jerk. All right, noob. Ah, oh, griefer, man. Absolute griefer. <laughs> Give me a second. Wondering how the awakening will be for the new class? Dude, I'm also looking forward to that. We will have to see. I'm hoping it's going to be like much better at PvE grinding. Ace from Cho. I mean, you expect that kind of shit from him. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's like really good at PvE grinding. That's like the main thing. Because Draconia Succession is not very good. So Succession has the issue of... So the succession's issue is like the animations are too long. So like animation 
being that long, it makes her really inefficient for grinding PvE, which is the main issue for me. So like, if I play her, I'd have to play her for only PvP, which I don't like doing. I like playing, if I main a class, I want to do everything on that class. So I would like to be able to do all of that. So we'll have to see. Like, we saw with, yeah, exactly, with Nova we saw, right? That was, like, dope what they did. Like, Succession wasn't the greatest, but then Nova Awakening was, like, an absolute cracked grinder. But like, maybe they might do something like that. So we'll have to see. Only time will tell. Mystic Succession or Awakening for PvE, PvP? Uh, succession for PvE. Nova kills my pinky, dude. That's how I felt with Striker. Like, or not Striker, Warrior. Warrior was very rough. On the pinky. Oh, yeah. Give me a second. Dude, the shift issue? Yeah, uh, I hear you. A hundred percent. Ninja's pretty bad for the pinky, too. Dude. This game requires a high APM. That is an issue for, like, some of the classes. So if you're a boomer like me, you can't handle it. That's why Awaken Striker is good. It's, like, right in between. It has the potential to do, like, really well. But at the same time, it's not, like, hand-breaking. Nova's pretty good if uh, you macro a perma shift, dude. I don't like using the, like the thumb macros like for shift and stuff. I tried it for my warrior. It just wasn't like great. I have a controller. I got one. Grinding on a controller, I don't have any practice. It's I would have to spend like at least ten hours trying, and to get to the point where I can. And then once PVP comes around, it becomes difficult again. Yeah, Warrior is not as bad as Ninja, but still, it hurt a lot just because I had to do a lot of uh, shift work. But like, my first seasonal character, season number one in the game, was with a uh, Warrior. I just wanted to play a class that looked cool and badass. Like, that was the shit, but it just didn't work out. Alright, let me just finish up this uh, hunting. How much XP do we need? 6%. Just toggle it, so constantly pressing shift. Ah. I, I just don't like using the thumb button for that, because I use thumb button for, like, push to talk and other things, so. In, like, World of Warcraft and stuff, I always had skills on it, so I was used to it, but after I started playing BDO, I stopped using thumb for that. I wish I could, like, use it for, like, just toggling shift. Just put shift on thumb, that's, like, easiest thing to do. On Guardian, you can hold down four buttons. Yeah, dude. Guardian is the lowest APM class I played. I heard Lon is like pretty low APM too. I haven't tried it. Wrath of the Lich King Classic. The thing is, I have like no classic characters right now, and I've never played classic before. So if I played, I'd have to go in prepared. So I don't know. There's a lot of things I want to do in terms of gaming. Like I want to like make more general MMO content on YouTube, which I 100% will start doing. As far as the games I play, though, it's, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see, because like that'll take a lot of preparation for me to be successful in it. And I have no friends who play it, so I'd have to find a guild and everything. And I wanted to like play Guild Wars 2 again. I wanted to play Final Fantasy 14. I wanted to do like proper variety stuff, but to get to that point, I don't know. I don't know how, how I'm going to do it. I don't like using middle mouse click. It's just not fun for me to click. 
I used to use middle mouse button like scroll wheel for jumping and counter strike. That was like my thing. Like bunny hopping in 1.6, man. Or duck walking. Oh, man. Can't play WoW Classic or anything. Not absolutely. Absolutely done with that game in Blizzard. Oh, I hear ya. I don't really care for Blizzard. Like, if they do something stupid, I'm like, expected. <laughs> it's not something that I can feel like, oh, no. How could they do that? It's like, 100% within my expectation. That is 100% what they would do so it's like i don't feel too bad when they do shit but you know i don't think too much into it like if they do something good great if not i don't mind i want to play i want to play uh overwatch 2 for sure the funniest thing was they were planning to release it as a standalone thing make people pay for it and say oh overwatch 1 and 2 will be cross-platform <laughs> like are you stupid they're like, they're actually going to do that. And then they're once they saw the backlash, they're like, oh, OK, we'll just give this as a free upgrade. Everyone will have it and they'll replace Overwatch one. Just got to move on. Ratchet Lith, Lith King was like godlike, but I just can't go back. I, I got yeah. Well, what the CEO does really doesn't affect what I you in the game if the game's shit the game's shit if the game's fun the game's fun like i don't think the the ceos out there making any decisions on that because like if you look at world of warcraft the system isn't too bad where you know yes it is pay to win you can pay to win on it you can put in real money get wow gold whether it's through the legitimate means by the tokens or through you know rmt and then you can get people to boost you and get your gear but that gear is like just open world shit and it's not the biggest deal. Like in PvP, you can get boosted again, but that that kind of black market exists with every game. Every game has it. That's just a part of the game. I don't think the CEO has any say in terms of how the gameplay is though. So that's on the development team. So we'll see, we'll see. And like Diablo Immortal is like a huge success for them. They're like patting themselves on the back. They're like, we knocked this out of the park, boys. We got so much money off this. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Eventually, though, there will be a game someday that will knock it out of the park, which is actually a good fucking game and can be consumed by the large majority of the players. BDO is a very niche game. Very expensive cash shop. The gear progression is very boring. It's a very, very long grind and a hard grind. So only a niche type of player will get into BDO. But someday there will be a game which not only... Oh, G20. Well, you did it. We got the next yeah, or hunting level. There's G20. 1455 Mastery. And yeah, one of these days there will be a game which knocks everything out of the park. Like I'm telling you. 100% it's going to happen where not only do they create a great game to play, but they create a platform. So by platform, I mean, if they want to develop a new class, they have a system in place where they'll be able to spin up new skills at a much quicker pace rather than redeveloping from scratch. And same thing with like new dungeons and new maps. They'll be able to spin it up a lot quicker. I know you can auto generate a lot of things, but the rate at which it takes Blizzard to make a new PB a new piece of content it's like absolute horrendous that's why they're absorbing spellbreak studio they bought an entire fucking studio and they're going to convert them into their world of warcraft developers <laughs> so that's like the issue like no mmo is like out there killing it with content Pearl abyss does a great job though like you know, at least when we know that the money they're making is going back into making a good game. They're constantly making quality of life changes, you know, making updates and stuff. They're not like huge expansions, but, you know, they don't sell expansions either. When when people are like, oh, they're they're reusing textures like Lazy Piotti is like, oh, they're reusing textures in uh, the new winter region. What the hell? I'm like, well, it's not a new fucking expansion they're charging us for. It's just a part of the game. A BDO Guild Wars 2 hybrid? BDO and Guild Wars 2 have the same issue for me. Their gear progression system sucks. Like Guild Wars 2's gear progression system is like, well, you, you have the second best gear. It's only 5% worse than the, the best gear, the Ascended gear. I have a full set of Ascended gear. Don't get me wrong. 
but it's like i wish there was more of a progressive system there and like you can get your ascended gear by doing anything you can go pvp you can do world uh world content or anything and you'll eventually get it guild wars 2 did a great job with just having that casual content like it keeps the regular ordinary player playing so their hardcore content was pretty good too their raids were well developed like they got they were received in a really good manner by the player base the player base thought hey these raids are fun and like worth doing because you get your legendary armors but they had issues guild wars 1 was a lot better off true true I don't think any MMORPG that consolidated most of MMO players to play over the other MMOs will come about again. I think it will once VR really kicks off. Right now, it's still not there yet. I have an Oculus 2 and it's hella fun, but I think it's just not there yet. It's almost there. The moment we're able to see 4K in each eye, I think that's the point. It's going to be it's going to be there and they need to get like more available haptic gloves once they have haptic gloves and better resolution in each eye right now they have 1080p in each eye and it's good like i'm like yeah this is actually really good and there are headsets out there which push it to 4k on each eye but they're like really expensive they're like military grade like you know there's like this one headset which was designed for training f-35 pilots like actual military stuff but eventually those that technology will pass on to regular consumers but once vr kicks off it's gonna be a world of warcraft all over again i i believe there will be a game which will do it over and under i just don't know I think how the market gains created will allow it i do hope it changes I think it will. So once the next big piece of technology comes out that everyone just feels like they have to have, like I can imagine in 10 to 15 years time, there's going to be like glasses, which link up perfectly with smartphones. And those glasses are just designed to be monitors. Basically, like there was this one um, proof of concept with uh, what is it? What is Microsoft's one? HoloLens, Microsoft HoloLens and Final Fantasy 14, where a person uh, took Final Fantasy 14 as the base and they took all the menu items and put it all around his monitor. So he's wearing the HoloLens, he's looking at the main game on your screen, but then all of the UI is around the computer just floating in the air. That was like amazing. I'm like, that's the kind of shit I need for BDO. <laughs> but one of these days, I have a feeling there's going to be a piece of technology which syncs up with existing technology in a manner where everyone's like, oh, we need this. And I think it'll be like either augmented reality or virtual reality. That's my prediction. But let's see, like, it's almost there. It's almost there. Right now, what VR is doing is trying to increase performance. Once they increase the performance to a certain point where they reach the soft cap, so to say, they'll start focusing on usability and availability so they'll start scaling those big bulky vr headsets down to a much more carryable usable and portable you know smaller lens and stuff where then it's not something that's just a giant mess on your head it's actually pretty clean and really good quality so it's only a matter of time they're developing it actively every year it's getting better so it's gonna happen and mmos They'll always find a way in. <laughs> there are, there's actually tournaments for like VR uh, battle royales and VR shooters and stuff. They're not that great yet, but you know, they're there already. So it's only a matter of time. So things will improve. I know Pearl Abyss has a VR game in the works, something VR in the works. I forgot what it was about. When I pushed one of the CMs to talk about it, they're like, oh, we can't say. But when I looked in the earnings report, uh, they did mention it there. Net profits and consistent quarterly goals and projections are paramount rather than what the game actually is. I don't think it'll be a AAA company which makes a big banger. I think it'll be a smaller game studio which knocks it out of the park because they're the first ones to do it right. 
with the new technology which is readily available i don't think like vr tech is readily available yet i mean it's only 300 bucks for one of these quest twos it's not expensive but like i said it needs to improve the quality just a little bit more and then focus on scaling it down to a smaller smaller unit and they need to get the haptic gloves like properly developed right now the controllers are pretty good you can do everything you need to do with those but i'd give it time it just needs time what buffs are you using all the life skill buffs i can get i got the gm buff the hunting quest buff the villa scroll seafood cron meal life xp scroll and then laura's t and elixirs i want a full body vr suit oh, all right let's go into oh finally we got breath of narcion so we didn't get any of this session oh yeah that's like ready player one kind of stuff you know <laughs> Best thing uh, to hunt rhinos at your at all ranks. Rhinos are the best XP. We're already at 8.2%. We just hit G20. It's crazy. Oh. Yeah. Are you in a guild? I'm in juiced. With some friends. Yep. I think this is the where we'll stop for the day. Fun stream. We did three hours. We got from G18 to G20. Really good XP. I think we can hit that high G G30 something mark I want to hit by the end of the event. I'm aiming for like G38. That's the number I've settled on. You can do rhinos from the very beginning, man. Artisan matchlock, professional matchlock, whichever. It just takes time to kill them, but they do, they give you so much XP. We do recruit. Um, we're looking for relatively high gear score players for open world PvP. And there's a PvP trial involved. I'm done. I, I need a break and then I have to go out tonight. So I need to go hit the gym before I go. So I need the time. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Thanks for hanging out, guys. It's fun. YouTube uh, was very pleasant i had no spam bots in chat we just need to increase the bit rate and try to get the quality a bit better but i think we can do it i just need to find out what the max amount of bit rate they're allowing now that's not doing 1080p but it's a little bit pixelated i can see it i can see that it's still a bit pixelated ah uh, we got some lower gear score players like who are looking to like improve fast if you're looking to grind hard then you know, I think they'd they'd be down, but you'd have to get through the trial. Good gains, yeah, man. Well, thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate it. One of the reasons I go hunting is that I tap Manos Hunters, and it went te oh shit. Yeah, you should definitely be hunting with that. Grind all the time, hey. Good stuff. It's fun hanging out. Thanks for the content. I appreciate you guys hanging out, man. It was definitely fun and chill, and we made some gains. Like, over 120 Cafras now, I think. What was it? Almost 120 Cafras. Got a lot of meat, money, XP. It was good. It was good. All right, guys. That's it for this stream. I might be going out of town for the next couple days, so no stream tomorrow. But, you know, I'll keep the YouTube content coming and hopefully stream more often on YouTube just to have those VODs up. But, yeah. Take it easy. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.